Oh, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we are, once again, continuing our journey through Seven Days to Die. We completely and utterly destroy the zombie menace. Was... Let's go ahead and begin the game. So last time, as you all remember, we've been building up our base in preparation for Horde Night. Horde Night should only be a day or so away now. Yeah. And actually, I think once we are finished with this Horde Night, we'll close the game and make it be a day less. Again. So, right now, currently, we're at six days every, every Horde. And that's just kind of what we're seeing now. We'll see how this Horde Night goes in our new bunker. Get a nice feel for what's going on, right? Yeah. Have a nap. All right. So, forget exactly what we were doing. And that's sort of concerning, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right. So I do remember our, for the stats that we were going to level up next. I did want to get Lucky Looter, so that way we can try and find the final recipe books that I want. That's going. So let's go ahead and grab this, and I'll just combine these together. So there, there. Okay. Let's see here. It is day 60. The last word was on day... Was it 56? And so six days would be 52 or 62. So we have uh, a little while before anything happens. Let me just double check. Everything looks good here. That all looks good. So the last thing we had done was sort of dig some stuff, right? That's what I remember doing last. We're nice and topped off on food because we ate a bunch of canned stuff. I'm like, well, let's go ahead and get topped off on uh, thirst stuff. Use this. We get goldenrod key drank. Drink one over here. And then I think this time around we're gonna take our empty uh, bottles, right? Because I don't think they can be used for anything except for you know, murky water, um, yucca juice, which is surprising if you need an empty bottle for that and not water. Ready? Um, and then maltops, which we're not gonna make. But yeah, maybe maybe I can make some yucca juice, I guess. Let's see. There's the juice. Take all of those. I actually gotta turn it off and pause it because it's only gonna be three minutes. And then we have all this. Perfect. Okay. Let me just double check my ammo levels. Good, everything's reloaded. Perfect. Alright. So let's go and take a peek at our quest here. So I know we have a bunch of buried treasure. The question is where? We're on the map, and that one's in the water. You don't want to go after that one. What about this buried treasure? This one is actually pretty close by, and we actually go into the military place beforehand. I think we haven't looted it quite yet. This is going to suck. Okay. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's good. Let's go to the military place real quick before we go after this treasure. And we should be able to just climb up and over like we have previously in order to get into the military base to get the high value route for the zombie. Uh, you come running during the night. 
there is our treasure. Military base should be just up ahead. We haven't hit it recently. Nothing to worry about here. Definitely have some loot. Actually gonna go ahead and look around in here like usual. Break a little bit so we have uh, an easy way to get away if we have to. Alright, so my things are still there. Perfect. Go ahead and sneak. So we don't attract unwanted zombie attention. Alright. I just down here. If I sneak down here. Why is this a party that matters? Bird. Come on, birds. Come on. You little shits. I know you wanna. Okay, there's one. For it. Ah, whatever. Concussion, that's great. Another bird came, huh? Yeah, I got infected, so it's even better. Huh? Okay, well, that of course could have gone better, as it always can, but we got out pretty well. Uh, okay, that's everything here. Let's get out. Turn the truck. Hey guys. Event losers. I'm gonna kill them to get some experience here, right? And they're all feral. That's great. Let me see it. Wouldn't rotate here. Ow. That really threw my aim off for some reason. It like, ugh, threw it up. I haven't seen that happen before. Our army truck looks good, homie. Wow, actually decent stuff in your army truck. I'm surprised, I gotta say. Right, so let's go ahead and get to this point. And then I'm gonna use my med kit. I'm not gonna worry about the, uh, the infection right now, because we'll just go home and take care of that. I'm not gonna waste my material that's inside the truck. I'll go ahead and use the med kit real quick to heal up here. And then drop the cornmeal, drop the feathers. Oh man, I could use the bandage instead. Whatever. Let me just get up here quick. Yep. The name bird. Call, could call me. Alright. Any other zombies around? How about I see? Continue sorting through our inventory real quick, like. Oh, we got another treasure map. That's cool. Good. Well, I can go ahead and put those there. Alright. All right, definitely looks clear. The night's gonna happen here in just a couple seconds, so let's go ahead and get digging. Oh, I 
sand. Take this opportunity to get sand, I think. I'm gonna wait until it's like dang near on top of it before I start digging deeper. So we can dig over this way a little bit. I like how it goes from like a stormy dark night to like bright, but well, it's like gonna be night in like 30 minutes. Before we dig too further, we will secure these surroundings. Guy over there. Bird. I lost him. That one? I'm surprised that I hit that. This is zombie I was looking at before, though. Crap. Crap. He stopped for me. What a nice guy. Alright, anything else around? Now that I can see, so let's finish this. Should be right about here now. There it is. And of course it's locked. Oh, yeah, I guess you decided to show up right at night time, huh, you asshole? Or is it because you spawned right when I uncovered that? Is that it? Oh, that bird. Oh, no, that was the first one I killed. Never mind. I was about to say, that bird really got some distance from the time I hit it, huh? All right, time to unlock this. I always, for some reason, take a drink right when a lockpick is about to break. Excellent. Done. Oh. Uh -huh. Hey. So we'll go home, take care of this infection, and then we can drop off our loot. And from there, it's really just a matter of I think we'll check the other treasure map areas, just see where they're at. Might not go to them quite yet. I might decide to go to the uh, main quest we have. Not main quest. Up a bit. Down here, and since I left that door open, let's go ahead and close this door after us. And I know I got a bunch more ammunition, so let's go ahead and store that stuff here. Perfect. Pistol, pistol. I see some gunpowder and brass caps, which is nice. Um, and then we have diamond that we can sell. How's this look? Still good, okay. Go ahead and store all the materials we have here. And goes there. And oh, I forgot the buckshot. Darn it. I don't need the grave digger mod. Or do I? Because mm, I could put the grave digger on this one, which would help us to get faster at doing this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in here until we get a better auger. That'd be great. And then this steel chest place, I'm just gonna scrap. Um, we have bandages there. I do need one more med kit to top myself off here. Speaking of, do we have... Yes, we have these herbal antibiotics. I'll take one of those to get rid of my infection. Perfect. That there. But we also had a steel sledgehammer, which we're going to scrap. And then steel knuckles, we will scrap. Go ahead and store all of the parts that we have here. Also the bite chain, metal chain, I guess I can wrap that. Or can I install that on this? Okay, perfect. Parts, we toss that there. We got eggs, so that goes there and that goes there. Although technically the, the uh, aloe should go into the medical thing now that I think about it, but perfect. All right, anyway, ammo materials, throw that there. 
Let's head, Fred. I think I'll put the food down there. Before we leave, let's check the quests here. So we have Clyde's treasure map, which uh, we know is to the north. This one is... Huh. It's right there in the city. Okay, we can get that when we come back for turn in the, the main quest we're doing. Or what about this one? This one is also nearby here. So we maybe just do the uh, the fetch quest, which is you know just right over here. And it looks like it's in the bookstore, which is all right with me. In fact, before we do the loot, uh, the fetch quest, we might clear the bookstore once. Just to get that uh, real good loot from it. And then we can just respawn it by activating the loot quest and we'll get double the loot. So, I guess it kind of depends upon if the bookstore is worth it. I'll we'll have to take a look first. Because there's a possibility that it's not a good bookstore. Take a nice little peekers. And it is night, so it kind of also depends upon how. How uh, brave I'm feeling at the moment. A zombie kippens. <laughs> the real shame that that does not kill them and give you experience. Because that would be just great. Although that could be and be abused, I suppose, during board nights. You just drive around and Run them all over. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. Anyway. Go ahead. You're gone in here. I think it's been enough time that we can actually do this place again too, but... Oops. Alright, we got water here. Breaks. Grab some water quick. Uh, how do I? There we go. Right click. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just store this in there so I have space. And speaking of, forgot about the tokens I'm carrying. There we go. All right, let's continue on. Well, I said sneak through, but <laughs> mine. Okay. Up this corner. Passing to ask here, or an auto shop, one of the two. Then I think we can turn down here. Then is it? Is it one of the skyscrapers? Because it's probably not going to be good loot, to be honest. Oh, yeah, it's the corporate one. It's definitely not worth, um, actually, Harry might be. We have been here before. And I do remember that there was a lot of loot in the bottom. We can get to the bottom relatively quickly and silently. We might be able to do some good here. I thought I heard one, like, wake up. They didn't die, huh? Didn't die from that either. Have another shot in the ass. Let's move a little bit. Apparently they decided to wake up. Apparently they all decided to wake up. Okay. Come on, boys. Yeah. 
He's dead. Clear on the round, round side there. Need to grab one of these. Take this guy out. Yep. I want to hear someone else moving. Let's go ahead and take these real quick. That'll heal us and get rid of our concussion. Question is, where are they moving? Gotta be in here. So. Yep, they're attacking this corner wall. Come on, skinny. Got him. All right. Wouldn't crouch once again here. I will just loot like normal. Work away down here. Spaghetti recipe. That's pretty cool. All right. I have an arrow notched. I do. Down here is the last loot room. Means there's a lot of people. I help down here, including irradiated zombies. Oh, and she just woke up. Crap. Ah, where you come from, man? Let's uh, back up a little bit, I think. Let's get, let's get outside. Where well, there's more room and we're closer to our truck if we need to wall. Die from the first two there. Also, the zombies will be confused by the door, which is nice for us. So, we'll use that to our advantage. And then we can back up. Fucking really. Sprained leg. You out normally, sir. Oh, it's my arm that's sprained. Well, at least it's not the leg. Did I do anything for that? Just a sprained arm? Do I just have to wait? I just gotta wait. That's too bad. Oh, come here, sir. I'll kill you. Okay. Yeah, this definitely went a different route than I thought it was going to, but that's all right. Make sure we're reloaded. Dogs, man. Speaking of dogs... Come here, you. Might as well harvest your meat. Okay. I see that movement there. Don't worry about it. Come here, sir. Oh, that's a lot of folks right there, ain't it? They're out. They're all bikers too, are they? All bikers. A jumpy boy. Yep. 
Not bad. Thank God we can like run and sprint while we're reloading. Because if we could not, this would be a little bit of a uh, panic. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to use one of these. Pretty sure aiming down sights throws off my recovery for my arm, which is no bueno. Kind of why my arm is back at seven there. Pretty sure we killed everyone this time. Just so I don't get caught by surprise, I'm going to take my gun. Out. Here. I knew I freaking heard a dog. Kind of a bitch. Another biker, okay. Why were you hiding here, sir? You're the only one left. Oh, I guess you were the only one left, huh? Well, it's almost morning. Wasn't there a box on here? Damn it, did they destroy it? Those freaking zombies. Bastards. Oh, we got an auger schematic. Thank God we got that. Right? Am I right? <laughs> anyway. I don't know if there's anything else in this place except for this loot here. So let's go ahead and loot it all. What is that? Pardon chest. We got some stuff in there. What did we get? This was... Oh, gyrocopter accessories. I already have that though. Deer hunter. Shepherd's pie. A couple of those, to be honest. We have Magnum Enforcer, which... Last shot in the chamber does double damage. Not bad. Then we got the Dart Trap Bundle, which I'm just going to open and then scrap everything. Nice. It's going to take a little while to scrap. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff down to that hot bar area so I can move that there. Okay. Well, didn't really get anything good. I thought I had a sniper book too, but I guess I was just seeing things. That's a real shame. You hear another damn zombie. There she is. Hey, lady. You just stop that. All right. <clears throat> Go ahead and store our loot. And I'll scrap the rest of that there. All right. So once we hit this, everything's going to respawn. Everything's going to rebuild, so... Gonna see that all these things are back now. Fortunate, but that's okay. So it's also day. Gives us the perfect opportunity to no longer get bit by running zombies. Alright, so we go up here, and then we go to this one here, and then we just find whatever window is broken. I think that's the start of it. Yep, here's the start. I would love to be able to like aim down sight and sneakily take people out with my bow. I might have to just try to uh, rearm it. See if I can do anything. Fuck some. Wake anyone up? I can tell. them out real quick like pretty sure that's a window yep but I think I can hit him now I missed it though so not great all right I think they're all waking up now because they're sleepy little guys let's go ahead and just take them out I'm trying to keep my my finger raised off the right mouse button because I know if I use it, I'm just going to hurt myself. 
framed arm is not going to go away as quickly. Oh god. Okay. I have a sprained leg now, too. That's great. That's just great. Okay, let's go over here. Kind of lure him into this area. Reload. Reload again just for good measure. Yep. Alright, so we got a... Not only do we have a sprained leg, but we also have a sprained arm. That's just beautiful. I'm gonna make everything a lot harder to deal with. Oh, hey, sir. Not sure where you came from, but not great. At least they're not broken, I guess. All we gotta do is piss around a little while and be able to have them healed. There's these loot bags. Okay, I didn't get it too much. That's interesting there. Go ahead and scrap that. More time to waste. Finished. Do a quick sweep. Take everything we want. I'll sort through the inventory after we're done clearing the room quick. This sucks. I can't run or power attack or aim at this point. It's all just a matter of waiting until I can heal something. At least being able to power attack would help out. Power attack and aim down the sights. That's great. Right about now. At least since it is daytime, we don't have to worry too much about getting out of here before night falls. Because unless we're completely incompetent, we should be able to get out of here. Fairly quickly. Okay. I think this is the last office. Yep. Or it's this one. Did we search this one? We did not. Didn't search when we came through. <laughs> That's how it works. Alright. Um, I'm going to cancel those two. So that I can scrap everything else. Kind of holding on to. Everything else will be pretty quick. Go ahead and use the things here. Grab that. Toss out this bandage. Toss out this corn. Grab that. Scrap that. Boy. Who's beating on what over here? I just jumped again. Ah. Uh, always with the jumping. Okay. Come on. Reload. Go fast. Okay, we gotta run. Real quick like. Hey, double hit shot. Very nice. Back to the gun here. Not being able to aim really throws my aim off. As long as I can center the crosshair, though, I should be able to get a pretty nice hit on him. Also, I thought a bunch of zombies dropped down already. Why was there so many here still? They're trying to... Here we go. Ow, you can't just do that, dude. You done? Are y'all done? You still hear someone. Anyone here though? Alright, I'm not 
quite sure where I'm going at the moment. Oh, right. Isn't this a, uh, yeah, this is a clear and retrieve supply mission, not just a mission to get everyone dead. But it looks like the supply is downstairs, so it might be in the final room. If that's the case, that's good for us. All right, how's this room look? Leather chest piece, lovely, lovely space. I think here I'm taking the stairs. Looks like the stairs are what's open. Luckily I can crouch without having to worry about agitating my injured leg. However, the fact of the matter is, looting this area might be a bit of a pain. I think if I smash this up, thanks all time. Might be able to walk up the pipe, maybe. Nope. All right, let's open. Pile of books here, which has nothing. Great. Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna drop that. Scrap that. Scrap that. I know there's stuff on top of here. Can I get it? I can. And it's just basically stuff to have, so that's great. Okay. Refuel the chainsaw. Refuel the auger. What we got in the trash can? Or we search. Make sure the room right. As far as I can see, yeah, I got everything. Okay. Now it's just a little backpack. So, staircase it is. I really hate moving this slowly. It uh, annoys me so bad. This is the roof, right? Yeah. Question is, can I hit him? Got it. Next one. Ah, come on. Oh, where am I hitting? I'm hitting below it. There we go. All right, I think that's the birds dealt with right there anyway. So. Let's leave this open. Crap. Hey, feral. Hey, ferals, I guess. Oh, hey, bird. You want some too? Let's go. This way next. Another freaking bird, okay. Gun time. Jesus. Jesus. Where's the door? There's the door. Where'd you come from, skinny? Not this way. Go this way. Looks like my arm is done, so I can actually aim now, which will come in handy. I won't miss as much. Use that uh, first aid kit there. That was a nice blind fire there, goddamn. Okay. Everyone freaking dead now? Hmm? Yes? Got a minute left until we can actually run around and actually do stuff. Anything up here? Yeah, we got some ammunition. That. Okay. Grab that. Grab that and that and that. These next as well. All right, looks like I'm starting to get a little hungry. I'll eat two of these. Okay. 30 seconds. 
barely hit that, huh? Come on, let me get it. Right, I'm just gonna wait the 12 seconds and we'll jump over and grab that. Oh, Fortnite's tonight. I miscalculated, gentlemen, ladies. We need to do this real quick. Go. Oh, right, we have to go around here. Through here. Oh. Oop. Oop. Ah. Oop. Up, ah. All right, I can't prepare my gun right now. There's no more room in the queue. Hey, wake up. Wake up, little shits. You guys have been awake this whole time trying to. Oh, hold the golden mark. Yeah. I think I saw a crawling boy over here. Hoppa! Let's run over here. I don't know why this surprised me so much. Can you not? Just stop. Just stop. Bro. I am way almost out of ammo. Not good. Oh, hold on, kid. I said, hold on, kid. God damn. You done? You done now? One second. Let me reload again. Oh my god, please. Thank you. This is the same one who was trying to break in this whole time. Okay. Let's repair that and repair that. Scrap that, scrap that, scrap that, and scrap that. All right, perfect. Nothing. All right. Let us quickly search the rest of this area. In there. All right, let's go downstairs. Clear the rest out. No one else in downstairs that I have to worry about that I can see from up here. Also, I'd like to take care of them now rather than later. Good. Okay. Oh, of course. The stash. I did not see them before. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Thank God I can reload and run at the same speed. Come on, you gotta be quicker than that, zombies. Let's go. Close this door so they can't get up from down there very easily. Damn you, kid. It might be time to use the pistol. Ah! He getting sloppy here. Down. Perfect. 
All right. Get the hell out of here. I need to get more ammunition and stuff. I'll need to use a med kit. Okay. Interact. Just store all the garbage that we got. Okay. Give me my pistol ammo. Because now's the basement, which is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Probably have to do the same thing we did here, which is run up and then come back down, right? Bookshelves real quick. While we're healing. Oh, we got a chainsaw schematic. Whoop, we didn't already know it. Okay. Only ones who are left should be the ones downstairs. Let's deal with it, shall we? One. Is that two? Wait, he's not dead? Oh, come on. Now he is. Okay, we got experience for that one. Got experience for that. I apparently got experience for that, even though it was a military zombie that I hit in the head. Okay. I'm not sure if I can hit that guy from here. Let's try it. Got him. Excellent. There's a lot of zombies down here. I just need to be kind of careful. Not sure what would trigger them. Construction worker down. Clear this little area. That one, down. Another one bites the dust. We can kill seven more zombies. Then we'll be out of arrows. Have to salvage some more or go loud. Nine more zombies. Nice. Okay. I guess there's one on the loading ramp. Is that what's trying to tell me? Yep. Could have been bad. Up here on the corners. Okay. This area is finished. Ooh boy. Oh, there's also a thing there, huh? Oh, there's a guy there. Got yeah, here. Got the lumberjack, or at least try to. You assholes. It wasn't for you guys. Oh, hey, buddy. Of course, both of those two are feral, huh? How that works, ain't it? Where the fuck did that come from? That's a dog, too. Okay. The dog. The dog will can you just give vent for me. Oh, there's another dog. Great. Sons of bitches. Oh my god, please. Please. Let me move. I honestly cannot believe there were so many zombies still here. Okay, let's get past here. Let's get back outside. Where apparently we are launched on by a dog again. Why? Why is there a fucking dog there? Jesus. Now, 
come on, of course I had to reload. That like slight back step that I did right there saved me from getting hit by this guy. Excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, how many motherfuckers are still here? Just you? Just you. Okay. All right, that's everyone. We're infected. We're fatigued. We're just not having a good time right now. I got a concussion. Luckily, we're heading home at this point, so it doesn't really matter too much, but still, it's annoying. Ooh, what was that? Rippleum schematic. What? what does that mean? Rippleum mod. What does this do? 100% chance to cripple a leg on a bipedal target. That's dumb. I don't want to cripple people. It just makes it harder to kill them. They're on the ground and stuff. I mean, if I need to get away from them, I'm sure I can shoot them in the leg and, and I might help out a little bit, but... All right, we got some concussion meds. Let's go ahead and take those. use these bandages as well just to get healed up here and then we have to take out this locked chest i'm gonna get a drink right now oh now you don't wanna hmm? yeah I'm trying to reverse ecology it yeah you're gonna just go ahead and unlock first try hmm? okay yeah it is All there. We learned a, another map. Cool. We got a food bundle. Oh my god. He gave us a bunch of tuna toast. That's excellent. I want to have one right now. Okay. One more thing I want to look at here. I didn't notice before that there was a hole like right here. What is this? What? What? Where, where does this go? Huh? What? Why is this here? That's so bizarre. Okay. Well, whatever. I guess it's an elevator shaft. No. Whatever. We gotta go. We gotta go right now. Go, 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 go. Carefully, okay. All right, let's get home. And, uh, is there an airdrop? Over there. Where are we at? Right around here. It might not be a bad idea to go to the airdrop. Let's see what it is. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be something actually useful for once. And then we'll be out of town as well, so. We got, we got enough time to get back to the trader, turn this in, and go home if we need to. And actually, you know what? Real quick. Go ahead and just get rid of all our ailments, don't we? It helps a little bit. We are still thirsty, but you know, that's to be. I don't want to take one. Moving on. 
three, four. All right. Assuming that this uh, airdrop is not like in the water or something, we should be able to very easily just get it, turn it right around, head to the trader, turn in the quest, see what time it is then. It's too close to 2200. I'll definitely want to It might be wise to get out here. Seriously? Okay. Hi, right. the car. My boy has to get out here and just walk the rest of the way. Over to this. What? Why don't I just drop eight bottles of water there? Okay. Supplies! We got... Ranged mods. Okay, those could come in handy. I'm not going to open them up yet. I'm going to take another drink of water. It also gave us some antibiotics and stuff, I think. So that'll help refill the, the Jeep. Alright. You know. Now we just got to get out of here. Get to the trader. All that good. Honestly, if I would have known today was Horde Night, I would not have left the home. Uh, just simply because uh, I would not want to be caught out in the middle of the night doing something. Especially during one of these, in a bigger building like that. Because if we start the mission, aren't able to complete it, and we leave the area, then the mission's over. And Doing that would not be a good idea. But all in all, I think we did pretty well. We didn't, uh... Ooh, pardon me. Oops. Give me a little shit. Hey, yo, 36 minutes, let's go. Finding deer in the desert seems kind of rare. I guess there's easier to see because there's less stuff. I think I've only found like a couple in the forest, but out here in the, the desert I've seen like quite a few. At least six. Alright, so we'll definitely be able to get home. God, maybe before 1500? If that's the case, then we can do those two uh, loot uh, treasure things, like I thought. Then go home. All before it even gets too late. Good progress, y'all. All right, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Bye. There we go. I can see him there. All right, let's trade and give me these and silver nuggies. Do they also want to sell right now? I think everything else is fine as it is. Go. Oh. I'm not sure when his loot refreshes. So let's see. A military helmet. I will take that because it's purple too. That's like even better. Um, not going to the southwest. Through that. I will take this one. Inventory. Sure. Um. Okay. What else you got? Back on the side of five. I think I need six. Mm. So spear six, fire six, or fire four, shotgun five. So fire four, shotgun five, spear oh, six. My apologies. Check back again, and I may have what you're looking for. 
I need fire one, so that's not going to be it. Shotgun. Oh, I do need shotgun five. Cool. And then spear hunter, spear hunter. Where's that one at? Spear hunter's four. Okay. So, don't need that one. Don't need that one. But I do need the shotgun messiah one here. So I'll take that, good sir. Thank you. Um, what else you got for me? Anything? Any brass, perhaps? Hmm? Ooh, 762 AP. Nice, but I'll take these brass casings actually. No point in buying these if I don't have a way to make them, you know. I'll take more AP rounds just in general as well. Always good. Um, doesn't appear to have any. No, he does have gunpowder. I guess it's just not in firearms, which makes sense. That's... And I say, hey, thank travel. you, sir. Um, actually, hold on. I forgot to sell you stuff. Like, uh,. These 20 nuggets. That's apparently only worth 2,000. Okay, weird. All right, all right, all right. Take this too. Oh. It's been a real pleasure. Learning the shotgun schematic. I'm gonna rearrange my inventory real quick so I can do else here open up the boom shot mod wow what shitty weapon mods hey sir talk to me one more time sell 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 Yo, out of my inventory. all right let's go we don't have a lot of time but we do have enough time right now okay so if we look at the map and our quests. We have Jennifer's, which is right there. Taylor's, which is up there. So we're going to go to Taylor's first. Let's mark that so I know that. Perfect. Let's rock. We just got to get through this town and then a little bit over there. After that, we can go to the, the other one that's like just south of the city here, or I guess it's in the city. Whatever. Oh, come on. I can't break through that. That's dumb. Real dumb. The question is, is this in the mountains or not? If it's in the mountains, I don't think I want to deal with it. Ah, uh, come on, Shale Rock. What are you doing to me? No way it's actually in the mountains, come on. Me here. Like we're just around here, right? Flip over. I feel like we've done treasure here once before. Uncover the treasure chest. It's like a zombie spawns. I get it. I think I killed it. Nice. This should be a good source of meat right here. Three, six, nine, thirteen. I don't know why I went up by thirteen there. I went up by like 
three of time, right? Trick and fly away from me, huh? Piece of shit. All right. Unlock this box. Come on. There we go. And then get out of here. Go to the next treasure location. Here's a Moby Git. Bunch of supplies. Okay. Guns. Next up, we want to go to Jennifer's map. Go ahead and mark that on the map. Whip out through here. This one might be a little more complicated because I think it's on a road. And roads have high durability, so I have to go in from underneath the road or something, perhaps. Let's see. We'll have to see when we get there. Me, I guess. I feel like they wouldn't have it be under the road, so over on this side, it's gonna be bad. Right? Zombie respond to the song, huh? Oh, there's no one now? Okay. Whatever. So just pick the lock. How dare you? There we go. And what we get? More guns. Bullets. Not guns. Bullets. Okay. Hop on the truck real quick. Open up the map. Next we have Steven's treasure map, which mark it. It is that's up north. Weren't we just there to get the other one? Darn. I guess we got the airdrop from there and then we could have got that too. Oh well. No biggie. Starting to storm, we should head home. Final preparation ourselves. We've still got like four hours in game for it, so we do have plenty of time. We'll just unload, pop off our food and water, and I guess while we're waiting, we might as well dig up some more of the yard. You know? Oh. Is that where I dug before? That's how I dug closer. Whatever. Hey buddy, you're a little close to my property, aren't you? Ah, ah, ah. What's going on with my hand there? Oops, missed him. I don't know why he decided to like walk around the hole rather than look through it, but whatever, man. Your life. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and first of all, let's fuel up again. Okay. Everything that I can, anyway. I'm gonna store my lock picks back into here, though. Okay. Perfect. Let's just kind of consolidate everything. Do a nice cluster there. 
All right, and let's park this baby in the garage. I can get in there. Might be destroying my gate, but come on. Oh my god. Did I fuck this up? that open because I'm going to come back for the rest of the loot. Uh, but for now, go up here, drop off what we have, and I'll come back for it after the loot. Oh, how's this looking? Oh! go. Okay. So any medical supplies, go ahead and store. Perfect. Loot. Store. Uh, store, store. And uh, that there, this there. What? Actually, need to. Does this have that model? It does. Scrap that thing. All right. Food and water. Throw that there. Those in there. Down here, so I can see it better. For reference. Okay, I'm good. Parts mods, throw those there. The magnum bullets. And we got my shotgun shells. We got my 72. We got pistol. We got ammo materials. We got stuff to sell. I got a paper here. Alright, next. Take this helmet off. Modify it. Remove all these parts, modify the military helmet, put them all on, complete it, and equip it. Now compared to what I had, the, uh, the steel might be a little bit better for armor rating, resistance and stuff like that, but a lot better stamina, mobility, and noise uh, detections. That'll be really helpful for us here. Well, Go ahead and throw that in there, that in there, just toss the rest of that in there as well. Okay. Now let's go grab the rest of the stuff and then begin finishing the base for tonight. Well, not finishing the base. It's already basically done, but I mean, getting the equipment we need to survive the night. Okay, loot. Okay. Close the door. I'll be back tomorrow, truck. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Raise this bridge so they don't come up here. It's easy. Also gonna make sure this bridge is raised. It is. Excellent. Perfection. Alright, materials. I got cobblestone in here. Beer here. Empty glass there. I fill them all up too. We also have this uh, lovely toast, the tuna fish grid toast. Got a bunch of med kits here. Some extra parts here. Oh, this has been going the entire time. I think it's been like out stuff for a while now. M materials, shotgun shells, pistol ammo. 762 there. Up there. Okay. Excellent. Everything is now sorted and perfect to go. Let's go ahead and switch around our materials and our weapons to get ready for Horde Knight. So one, two. So that one. Where's my tactical rifle? There it is. My shotgun. My magnum. Perfect. Perfect. Excellente. All right, and then we will take one, two, three, four stacks, magnum rounds, and then let's take medical supplies. We'll get our uh, concussion stuff. We'll get our broken bone stuff. 
We'll get some herbal medicine in case we get injured. It, you know, I don't know why coffee's in here. Drink that though. Um, I think we got everything there that we need. Let's go ahead and finish topping off our hunger and stuff. So let's use this. This. That. And we'll use this. And we'll use that. And that should be everything we need to do. Okay. I think we're good on mods for right now. I am going to go ahead and um, repair the shotgun. And the magnum. Real quick. Okay. All that looks good. Our right, shotgun shells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. How much does that give us? Good old 102,000. Perfect. Uh, this one. Since this is the ammo we lose, use a lot of, we'll do that, which will give us 2,000. Perfect. Nice. Nice. All right. Now I'm going to switch to normal pistol rounds. We'll just grab all that we can from there. We'll leave that slot open, I think. That'll give us actually more than plenty. I'm gonna store some of those back. That'll work. Yeah, right there. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then let's grab that. Actually, I have a bunch more metal now. Let's do this that. I'll make some more forged steel. Okay. Way. Um, let's get some concrete, some cobblestone, and we'll get some metal as well. And let's also get a repair tool just in case we have to repair stuff. And then let's head over to our. Maybe one more drink, I think. One more drink of water. Go ahead and drink some coffee. Go. All right, now we're good. All right, so this is it. For the last checks on the base over here. This will be where we're going to survive from. And there, there should be no easy way for them to get across here. So I think we should be okay. So we'll open this up. I'm going to go ahead and close this now. So all we have to do is uh, light that up. Make sure this is good. Is this fortified? It is. Are the walls here all fortified? They are. Excellent. I'm going to fortify these. As well, just because that's going to be where the zombies could be hitting from as well. Okay. And that one. Perfect. So this should be good. Now, like I said, we're going to shoot down this tunnel. That's really all we're going to be doing. So... Uh, get ready and actually maybe that one as well just uh, just in case they do get this close Stuff like that okay is everything loaded everything good looks like we are good to go plenty of resources to uh, refortify this stuff if we need to we have plenty of ammunition we have our food and water still up here if we need to use it. We have eight repair kits, which I think should get us through the night. Um, hopefully. I think we can make repair kits. Forged iron duct tape. Not bad. I can easily do that. That's closed. Yep. All right. Generator, how are you looking? Looking good. Fuel is maxed, and we have plenty of fuel if we need to. All right. Last checks here. All right. Generator on. This has now become the kill hallway. Let's go. I'm going to take a drink before we begin. And actually, let's back up a little bit here. Oh, 
gonna try using Magnum first. Since it's uh really good at just popping their heads in one shot. Wait until they get a little closer or start seeing cops. So it does have a lot of kick though. That's the one thing about this gun. Oh, hey, you, uh, ran right into me. Not sure why that happened. That one military zombie got really lucky when he came through the first time. He got like a sudden burst of speed and tried to ignore everything. Right. Now the one downside to this is I can't easily tell if there's zombies attacking or there shouldn't be. That's the one thing I can't do right now. Magnum is so good. All I have to do is touch them once and they're just dead. For the most part, they're not going to take multiple bullets like the radiated ones or like the military zombies, I think. That's unfair. But for the most part, hey, can you not do that, sir? Thank you. And with the red dot, I can even have to aim. I can just make sure the dot's hitting their head and. Hey, we're about an hour in. So far, so good. Go. Radiated zombies with three bullets there, so I think it's only because I missed one of his headshots. Lumberjacks might take two bullets too. Are so good. I also forgot to get metal, just like normal uh, forged iron to fix that up. That's one thing that I did neglect to do.
They're attacking something outside. Oh, maybe it's the bird though? I don't know. Hard to tell for sure. I think it's pretty bad. Okay. Back to the Magnum, I think. Hard to see the ones that are crawling on the ground now. Because there's so many loot bags in the way. I don't want to accidentally like, ruin a loot bag, you know. up here real quick. Kind of look around. See what's going on. They're all coming right into it. I'm not sure what I'm hearing then. There's like one zombie underneath all that loot bag. I just, I just can't see it. Back in the day in Seven Days to Die, the zombie corpses used to uh, kind of remain. They'd break down into these like fleshy chunks and actually take up a block of space. And so zombies could previously just walk over the corpses of their fallen allies in order to get to you. They can also clog up this tunnel really quick, actually. So. The kind of that no longer happens is really good. I, I, I just... I, where's this zombie at? I can't even see him. He's hiding from me. That him right there? 
Damn crawlers. At least they're pushing all the loot bags towards me. That's nice of them. Oh, Magnum's finally broken. Let's use the pistol out a little bit, shall we? Alright, we are getting to the end of the Fortnite. We have about two hours left in the game. We level up twice, although one level, to be honest, we were pretty close to level up to begin with. Him, I'll explain why I heard a beeping right before. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm the radiated boy over here now. Fortunately, this gun fires in a three round burst, so I've been trying to not use the. Um, the down, pull the button down. I'm trying to just like click normally. So like murder something real quick. Yep. Magnum. I think these guys are out. Shotgun for you, huh? Hold up, how do we reload. Let's take these guys out there. They're getting too close. If I had AP rounds, this would be a lot nicer. I can't tell if there or there. There we go. Sir, excuse you? You can't just walk through the floor like that, man. That's not how they go. Right, we got about an hour left to hoard night. See that big guy there? He is the demolisher. And uh, he blows up. So. Yep, that's not good. That is not good at all.
I'm not sure how to counter these guys. There's another one! Oh shit. That was close. The hell? Why did I just drop through the floor like that? This is real bad, man. Can't see. I'm too far down now. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Prepared. Get out of there, sir. the trap. Come on. We done? We done with y'all? Okay. What's that? Another treasure map. Let's go ahead and turn this off after we refuel it. And we need to go and start seeing what the damage was here. There's Screamer. Where is she at? God damn. All of that damage. It's a good thing that we put the uh, electric things away from here, huh? Because if they would have been in that like one block area, we would not have had a good time. Okay, well, this tunnel's clear. Kind of hard to tell where they're at. A medical supplies, store, store, store. I want to keep my building materials, I think, because we have a lot to rebuild. Um, for the shotgun shells. We actually did pretty good with just the uh, magnum. It seemed to serve us quite well. And even with the uh, added addition of some 556, we only went down like 600, 556. And not too bad for the uh, other ammunition either. So I think we did quite well there. Quite good. Yeah. I do quite like the uh, the Magnum. The feel of it was quite nice. Looking forward to using it in the future. Let's go ahead and get all of our gear back as it should be. Okay. And then that. Um, let me just put these away. If I have more wood anywhere, I need that. Okay. Building materials. Give me these. Give me the cobblestone. And give me more. Let's just give me, just give me everything. Let's fucking go. Okay. I don't think we'll have to worry about replacing those electrical switches, which is just, thank God. I'll go ahead and scrap that. And we'll put one of those there. Put that away. Let me grab out 
some more of my 8p ammunition. And I need to, of course, load in the normal ammunition, put that away. Okay. okay. Let's go. First of all, I want to go over to my truck. We'll put this AP ammunition in there. Because it's out of AP ammunition now, so we'll store that there. And then pull out the truck. We don't have to worry about that again. And now let's go back around. I'll see you over there, you vulture. Looks like they did exactly what I wanted them to do, where they uh, went straight for my location and not anywhere else. Him and then him. Ah, of course, of course. Come here, don't run away. You son of a bitch. The one hit I got. Actually, I guess I got hit a little bit because they hit through the bars. Four, but. It's hard to hit them when they're moving around like that. God damn. Frickin' vulture bastard. Oh my god. Can I, can I just please? Last shot in the chamber, thank god, okay. So all in all, it seems like the the main hole here, it seemed to last pretty good. It, it didn't do too much, but once the uh, guy who blows up came into the picture, that's where things got a little bit not so bueno. So we might just upgrade all this to steel. Let's grab our loot first. I'm actually really curious if drop loot like disappears or anything like that. Like uh, if it can be destroyed by bullets, because if it can be destroyed by bullets, that's not great, right? Also, you have this red one here, which uh, didn't have jack shit in it, to be honest. Okay. Go ahead and I'm gonna just eat and drink both of these. And then let's go ahead and scrap everything else that we can. While we're just waiting there. Alright, and then while that's going on, let's go ahead and finish upgrading stuff again. Okay, almost pretty well fortified here. And yeah, they really did a number on this place, didn't they? I guess the only thing that really did a number on this place was the fortify, not the fortify, the uh, the explodey guys. Everyone else who came here just got destroyed. So, honestly, the only thing that mattered was those guys. Fortunate. So, we'll just have to refortify. How much fuel do I have? Plenty. Refortify and get ready for the next round. That's all we can do. Speaking of the next round, let's actually, uh, once we finish scrapping everything here, uh, let's go out and set it to five days instead of six. Set us down some time there. The steel did really well at holding up against the uh, the enemy force, so I do applaud that. Looks like we actually lost one of our roof blocks here. It damaged the side. Did a lot of damage up there, actually. This one took 50% damage of that block. That's not good. How are we looking on scrap? Okay, we're done. Let's exit. And we will go ahead and continue game, but we're gonna set the Blood Moon frequency down to five days. So we're now five days to die. Okay. 
So. Now we're looking at 66, being the next day we have a horde. And with that being the case, it's kind of a fitting number, uh, considering we're just 600 off from it being 666. So, we'll just see how long we can last as we narrow things down. Um, I mean, at some point, it's basically just going to be us scrambling to get supplies and ammunition before the next horde night. Which, uh, right now, we're not too, too much of trouble with. So we're just going to re-fortify everything here. Grab the rest of some loot. Ooh, we actually got some night vision goggles. Nice. I'm not going to use those, but nice. Um, anything else I can scrap? I guess I can eat this lamb ration and take those. Nothing else behind here? There was not. So that's fine. Mm, let's drink this tea as well. Inventory's full. I really wish I could just scrap this. Use this tuna and I'll also eat this cat food. Pick that up. Modify, remove the headlamp so I can scrap the headlamp, and then also scrap the mining helmet. Alright. Doing okay in terms of steel for right now. Let's just finish upgrading everything here, making sure everything's nice and prepared. Yeah, that area where the two demolished guys blew up really ruined our day, didn't it? I think there was some damage to that and that. Other than that, I think everything's good. I think a little damage here and there from the birds, but not enough to write home about. Okay, let's step back into our tunnel of death. this. Jump back down here. Okay, so all this is repaired. No, God. Sorry about these ones, huh? Hopefully the demolishers could only destroy the stuff that was along the um, path. They couldn't destroy, like, blocks in further. I need to see what happens if they do that. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap these cans and I'll we'll pick up this clay. It's just normal rock. Just rock. Okay. Rid of this grass. Get rid of the grass, man. Come on. What are we doing here? Give me the stone. Whatever, it's fine. Alright, um. Fortify this. How much steel do I have left? I have a hundred. Let's do this. And I'm gonna put a block here. Get that all the way. There and there. And there. Also have to go down here to finish making supports for everything. I kind of put it there is because there's plant fibers there. Is that why? Is that really why? You suck. Oh god, there's even further. There's more down here. Oh god. This stuff I'm only gonna upgrade on, until uh that. There we go. Okay, perfect. Can't wait 
further down than that, so that's that floor. That floor. This won't be metal, I'm just gonna make this concrete. This is gonna be steel though. Or it's not, I guess. Okay. Okay. Let's actually give this corner up because that's just broken three there. Okay. Then maybe I also take out this stuff here. Oh my god. I'm I, I'm just gonna I, I'm just gonna go back to my, my base, drop stuff off because. I want to be able to capture all this stuff. Okay. That went rather well. We did pretty good. And I, for one, am quite pleased with the outcome. So, good job, me. Good job. Good job. Up in hands. Like this stuff. Okay. Go ahead and store this stuff uh, before we do anything else. Lead, okay. Shotgun shells, seven six two. Pistol ammo, magnum ammo, food and drink goes here. Medical supplies go in here. Ah, uh, man. Rearrange that stuff. I forgot some food. Um, what are these scrap into? Mechanical parts? I don't know. Like, if I wear them, it takes. Oh! It just goes over that, huh? What? This loot bonus is plus four? Hmm. Anyway. Ah, that's. No. Yeah, I'd much rather just be wearing these. Get rid of those. I don't care. way too bright. Okay. While that's there, let's go ahead and just grab out all of this steel we currently have. Just so we can make sure that this base is the bees need. Okay. Now, let me can go back over to here, up to here. But the green light is just way too much for my eyes. Night vision. Uh, it's still blinding me right now. God damn. Down through here. Okay. Excellent. Okay. It's important to protect these sides here. Because one more back is where the electrical traps are at. So if we don't protect those, we are in for a bad time. Since they did get this part exposed, I'm of course going to upgrade this as well. Now this entire place should be enshrouded in steel. Now we can handle quite a few more of the uh, explodey guys before they fully explode and all that. That's right. the first night that we actually get our, our, our quote-unquote invincible bunker up and running is the first night that we see the uh, explodey guys who damage everything around them. I'm not even sure how we can counter that. 
Really, I'm out of wood? Man. There's no wood around here either. This sucks. Let's go cut down some trees over here in the wild wastelands. Because it feels like I shot a bunch of them. Like the, the demolisher guys. There's at least three of them right there. And I was just unloading it after I saw them. And they didn't seem to die. So I'm wondering if I have to do something special to kill them or, or what? No? We'll see. Now, because I'm just gonna go back. Okay. That's a landmine right there. So, yeah. That could have, of course, gone better this word night. But, I feel like we did okay. We didn't have too bad of a, of a thing. Sure, our, our tunnel got completely destroyed. Uh, but we didn't lose any traps, and everything seemed to work out. This this seemed to work perfectly, where it all just kind of funneled them in, and all that. So that was quite good. So I think everything here is prepared now. Let's do one more sweep. Make sure I want to have like a weak point like that. Two thousand down. Just in case, you know. Good. 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 Feeling just once more. Everything here looks good. Okay. That should be good. I'm gonna upgrade these three as well. That one. Kind of get a nice there. I don't know how those two got damaged, but let's upgrade them too, I guess. How much steel do we got left? We only have a hundred? Damn, we used so much steel. Okay. But, let's go ahead and uh, we'll check down here too. Yep, that's what I thought. Once they uh, came in here, it really... Yeah, I guess it does do a kind of an AoE thing. We're going to use up all our steel, aren't we? Damn. We only have two more upgrades we can possibly do. Um, I say we do this one and this one. So that's going to be the first area that I hit. And of course, we can come back up here and do more later. But for right now, let's just work on repair. It looks like we didn't get any damage to this row of blocks, which is good. We just got this. It's all fully healed here. Good. Let's take a look down here. The electric posts fully untouched. Um, so that's good. It looks like no matter what's going to happen down below here, at least the electrical posts will stay intact. Uh, and that'll, that'll be good. So, perfect. So now, all that we really have left to do is just continue getting materials and prepare for the next horde night. You know, and uh is this me or was this them getting this? They might have been trying to get to me through here. Later. 
Um, for now, let's go back inside, drop off the stuff we have, and just kind of look and see what we have in terms of material and all that. It's only going to get harder as time goes on, because if we look at, uh, how do I look at, like, my players? We're at game stage 158, and uh, I was looking at another guy uh, who was playing Seven Days to Die on YouTube, and he was at, like, day 7,000, level 700 or 300 or something like that, and uh, his game stage was 700, so it's going to be at least... Uh, like five times more difficult. I think I did that math right. To get to 700 game stage, and game stage affects your your loot, your um, difficulty of enemies that you see, all that good jazz. So we got a long ways to go to uh, withstand more attacks. Uh, so we're 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 in for a we're in for a time. Let me tell you. Well, give me this, this stuff. Go ahead and start using more of this. There we go. Boop and boop. Okay. So what we're going to need from now on uh, is basically just going to be steel. I mean, steel is going to be the one thing that we need a lot of in order to continue to survive uh, if we're going to have a chance against them. Uh, or we could do more elaborate traps where things happen. Because the one base that I saw a guy use like yesterday, I was watching YouTubes, um, he had this like tower that had a, a walkway going up around it like in a spiral. And using the zombies method of just falling off stuff. Um, he created it so that they drop off and fall to their death and hurt themselves to kill them, but I don't know, that seems a little cheap to me. So I don't I don't know about that. We also need more cement anyway, so let's go ahead and get this started going. We're completely out of cement now, so that's one thing. Um, let's see. Let's see. Talking about blocks, does it say how much durability they have here? It doesn't seem to. Maybe that's just because it's how I'm looking at. Um, frame shapes. It doesn't say durability without. I don't know if asphalt is stronger than steel. You know what, we can actually go find out real quick if asphalt is stronger than steel. Damn, that lead got used up really quick, didn't it? Okay. Let's go real quick out here, the road. Let's see how much durability asphalt has. We could make a bunker out of asphalt if we wanted to. All right, asphalt. Only 15,000, yeah, that's garbage. Unless that's not asphalt, I'm like some other weird kind of thing. Regardless, that's all right. All right, so while the brass and stuff is melting downwards and we're getting more steel, let's go back one more time over to here. I just want to reinforce the rest of that. Um, do we need four and four is eight, so we're, we're three short. I'm not even going to bother right now then. Let's just uh, grab a little more steel, and we can do it. That so we don't have to go back and forth all the time. Make this nice and pretty. What I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Up here, I didn't even turn the other generators on to uh, ward off evil from the other places, but that's fine. I think we did okay here. So, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. One, two, three, four, and we're done. Okay. 
You could say we could also upgrade this as well, but that's just kind of the lip. It doesn't really do anything. There's no supporting structure here. I think we'll pass on that amount. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and toss my blocks here and we'll like that. And I think the brass is going to be pretty much finished. So, run into here. Put a quick stop. Oh, nope, it's still going. Never mind. Okay, okay. Let's instead store my steel here. Uh, can I actually make anything new with the steel? Now that I'm looking at it. Oh, I can make the cripple a mod, but I don't want to do that. Um, also, I don't know. Is, is that a mod or is it a like actual bullet? I think it's a mod, right? That makes sense. Okay. Can't make a better magnum than what I got. Could make an M60, but it's only going to be level 2. So, I don't think we'll do that. Impact driver 2. Nail gun. We could make a drone. And see how it goes. Uh, but, again, uh, why would I make a level 1 drone when I can just wait until I can make better stuff, you know? Steel axe, micro rifle. Okay. Well, we did level up, right? Come on. What do we need to repair that? Of course, leather and clay, a weird combination of stuff. Okay. We did level up. And this can turn off now since it's no longer making stuff. Uh, so I want to level up here, but let's also just take a quick peek at what all the. Where, where did those bullets... Where did I use those bullets at? Oh. Well, I guess I loaded them into the gun, so I have to do them. Okay. So I'm going on shotgun shells. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Basically 13 stacks of that, which gives me... I can just do this and then take all. And that gives me 2,000 rounds of... 556, five, huh? 762, whatever. Same difference, you know. But yeah. Hey. Let's level up quick. So we wanted to get Lucky Looter number five, which means we have to get Perception seven. Which means I think we can actually go bam, bam, and then bam. Um, so instead of as 20% to loot bonus and looting is 60% faster. We now have 25 to loot bonus and looting is 80% faster. So that's cool. And we're out of skill points, so that, that's fine. Um, we also get salvage operations up faster, which would mean we could increase the quality of salvage tools, which I'm not sure what counts as a salvage tool. I know we made an auger in that, so that's not... What, what, what is the tools? What's um... You can craft five tools. Minor 69 or max doesn't let me craft perfect tools? Hmm. Game. Okay. We still have agility at seven, which is nice. We could still upgrade... Full-Blooded Killer, which would increase our stealth damage a lot more. But I feel like at this point it doesn't matter too much. Um, archery, we could also level up to increase our quality of bows we can craft. But we already have a level 5 bow at this point. The only thing that would do would increase damage and aim speed. So let's not worry about that. For Intelligence, you're at level 8. The next level would be... Grease Monkey, which allows me to craft gyrocopters, which doesn't matter. Um, bench Engineering would give me all recipes for the forge are less. Crafting forge steel and electrical devices costs less, which would be instrumental as we uh, continue. But we do need Intellect 10, which would mean we would need uh, six points in order to get that. Well, seven, technically, to get that. We also get Physician, which allows us to craft the various first aid kits, and you can craft Fort Bites, Recog, and... Oh, that's that other stuff. Yeah, the stuff we never use. Daring Adventurer is 
quests give you more dupes. Whatever. Um, charisma doesn't matter because we don't have teammates. Robotics Inventor is what allows you to craft better robotics. Okay. So I could upgrade to this right away and do that. An electrocutioner is just stun batons, which is pointless. Okay. So right now, let's see. Each shot scored with an automatic weapon gives you two stamina. That's not bad. I like that. Four stamina and then six stamina. Okay. I can craft grade six machine guns. Okay. Well, let's let's step back for a second here and see. Lucky looter is maxed. Treasure hunter means that the blocks reduce, and I find more items in buried treasure. Which, eh, haven't really found anything to write home about in buried treasure. A penetrator, ignore armor. Um, armor piercing rounds can penetrate an additional target or a block up to 500 hit points when using hunter, lever action, or sniper rifles. Ah, unfortunately, that does not matter because. I don't use one of those before tonight, so whatever. Lock picking we could increase all the way uh, to better our chance of lock picking, but that's again pointless. Demolition expert increases damage of grenades and such, pipe bombs, hubcap landmines, more efficient stacks of gunpowder, prepped high explosive rockets, air filter landmines, time charges. Dead Eye allows me to craft better rifles and such. I don't really need any of that right now, considering we have a tier 6 rifle right here and a. Uh, we have a tier 6 tactical rifle too. The only thing we really need is a shotgun, I think. Better shotguns. So, what is the doctorate of shotguns? Is it strength? It's strength. So I would want to level up strength more, I think, next. And then we can craft better shotguns. And once we can, we can make a... Uh... Do I know how to make an auto shotty yet? No, but I can make a pipe shotgun that would be a much better quality than what I currently have. And that could be worth something, right? Yeah. Also fortitude. If we level that up, we can get increased stamina gem on sprinting. We can get our healing factor up quicker, which would be so much better considering how much we injure ourselves. Um, that could be something to look into. Iron gut doesn't really matter. Huntsman is more materials from animals. Well insulated means we are better protected against that stuff. Plan pain tolerance means we lose less HP, have no chances of getting stunned, and then machine gunner, which, you know what? We might go into Fortitude next. But that way we can get machine gunner up higher, craft better quality M60s and such, you know? Nope, that's empty. Uh, do we have any more stone? We do. Go ahead and do that. Although by doing that, we're not going to be able to make concrete, right? We need stones. Well, whatever. I'm going to throw that in there. Then we'll make more concrete there. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's almost night again. And what we need right now is more stone. Stone is what... We just need stone. That's really all that there is to it. We just need stone. Stone, 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 stone. So at this point, we might as well go back to our mine and just keep mining stuff. I think we also need nitrate to get more gunpowder. We should probably uh, try and focus on that stuff right now. 
let's get this up here. I think from here I can jump on top of the roof. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. And you know what? Let's go ahead and expand this a little bit. the zombies a little more room to not step directly on this stuff. Huh? Okay. So now they have a better path to just walk around here and not annoy me. Anyway, moving on. Okay. So we have nitrate back here in this hole. Right here. Let's uh, begin mining. Okay. Go ahead and do this. Go. some supports as we do that. of the nitrate. Okay. There, and then boop, boop, boop. Okay. That's currently the bounds of the nitrate area. Time for me. this here. Go so one more up here. Okay. Now I can build this here. And then I guess roughly Here's the middle, more or less, yeah. Make some nice supports here so we don't completely mess up and die. Okay, we'll put that there. This needs to go one more deep. There we go. Put that there. Go ahead and profile this. Okay, and then we'll do another one of these. A block here. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. A little bit narrow in this area, but better to start there than, you know, have it be not very well for the time. Go ahead and open up the tunnel a little bit more there. Okay. Could also put another block right there for extra fortification that way. All right. Now we can just dig 
tunnels to the side as much as we want, and hopefully don't have too much trouble as long as we keep expanding our uh, safety network here too. Let's go ahead and Let's see how deep this goes. Right there, we're out of nitrate. Let's back up and do a little more high. And that's lead right there. Okay. a support here. Excellent. I don't need to be as wild about this as like on every side, you know. I'm just kind of trying to map out the bounds of the cave here. the same thing on this side. Reload. Spaced out for a second there. My bad. It looks like it ends here, maybe? There's a zombie above me. Let's go ahead and deal with that. Bud, I hear ya. Want you to stop that? Okay. Perfect. Do a quick survey up here. I'm gonna do it on wood. I'm still pretty good. All right, back in the mine. All right. So that looks like as far as it goes back that way. Not up here. Is it widen back this way at all? It's all gap. Okay. 
it definitely goes up higher, but it doesn't go too much further back this way. So that's okay. How about over this way? So if we go over to here. Will it just end right there? It's kind of like it. Okay. Let's get rid of this stuff first. Also, how are we looking in terms of material? Okay. Go ahead and divide that up. Divide that up. Divide all that up. skill point. So I was saying we would go into uh, Fortitude, but going into another thing of Miner 69er could be useful, um, especially if we're just mining, and we will need to do a lot more mining um, as time goes on, because we will, like I said, be using more steel. Well, it might actually be worth it to invest, while we're mining and building and stuff, we'll invest into strength. And during Horde Nights, when we get experience, we'll uh, allocate into Fortitude. That way we have uh, you know, two different paths to go into, and we're not just focusing on one thing at a time, you know? So, pretty much, this is where it ends. I guess if we wanted to, we could go higher. Going higher runs the risk of stuff caving in on us. So I do not want to have that happen. But we can go down, and going down definitely seems like a good idea here. So let's go ahead and widen this side out. We can really get down to business here and see where the end of the line really is. No. Getting less and less nitrate there. Real quick. Not this area. Looks like right back here is going to be the end. Of the nitrate for the most part. Put that there, there we go. Okay. So we basically got the, the depths of this nitrate mine, or at least the, uh, the length and width here, not the depth. All right, let's get this out of the way. Accidentally damaged the ports there, that's not good.
gonna start from the top now. Feeling myself here with the proper resources. support from this one right here and while it's not exactly on the corner that's fine perfect while we're at it let's go ahead and just air the auger real quick okay throw down my nuggets over there okay Basically all we can do here, without going any further upwards. Not something we want to do. So, now we just have this bit here, and we haven't actually seen how far back this one goes. So, let's give it a try and see what we can find. There's some more lead there, so maybe we can expand the mine back that way for more lead. point where basically completely out before if we wanted to go back a little bit further but I do not really want to do that we're just gonna do this and also one here Now we have all this stuff in the ground that we can get rid of here. So, still have plenty in the ground there. How are we looking, by the way, in terms of what we got? Two full stacks, almost three full stacks. So that's also really good for us. Let's go ahead and do that there. Give ourselves a little extra room. And we'll, um, we'll start over here, I think. We do have to be careful of these support pillars. We don't want to you know, mine down and have it collapse. This might not go down too deep, unfortunately. It's actually very unfortunate for us at that. So we can just do this then. If 
I need to, I guess I can go up higher. Kind of a shame that that was all that was there, huh? I mean, there's still the, uh, the lead that's back here and stuff, but it looks like it's higher, too. Not really on a good level. If I just start digging upwards, there's a lot of it still up there. Maybe we, uh, oops, not that. I'll make a back here. This, okay. Hopefully this is the call of you to collapse, but I don't think it would. As long as we're careful with that. whole thing here. Okay. Lot of nitrate still up above, huh? That is fortunate. I guess I could kind of go with like a two tier mine system where I build like another staircase up and like, uh, let's see. This here. I do hear a dog. Excuse me while I go kill it. Wait, pop it. Stop it. Knock it out. Oopsie. Oopsie. Got it. Fresh meat. Wait, let's get back up on top. See anything else around? To pose a threat. Not really, no. Okay. Cool. Hmm. We did get a lot of random materials. How are we doing on stone? We're doing pretty good. Go ahead and divide that up even better there. Okay. In fact, let's go ahead and store this stuff that I don't need. 
now in there. Sweet. Okay. Into the mine once more. Okay. Go. Oh, darn it. Okay. Perfect. That's one pillar. We can do another pillar over here. Zombie. Let's finish taking out a dog. Come on, y'all. It's so rude. We go back and forth here. We're doing so well with no zombies coming up. And all of a sudden, all the zombies want to come over. And uh, that's a party, ain't it? Reload, hold up. Right, stay down. Um, sir, you can't go down there. Restricted area. I said you can't go down there, sir. Where were all they came from? That was weird. It's like they were just like a random wandering horde. Huh. Well. How it is sometimes. Alright, back down. Okay, gotta build up here again. Okay, go. Do that one again. All right. Next to this corner. Area here. Go and I think maybe not as high as the rest of them, but I think that'll do. I don't know if there's much else up past that way, so it'll be good. I think everything else past that is just normal rock, so fortify this area. This will get us a nice start for our second tier. Okay. Excellent. Get rid of this stuff here. All right, next, here. Sand, huh? Easy. All right. Perfect. 
Okay. So now really all we have to do is continue moving over these. Perfect. So let's start with this side here. Ooh. How are we looking in terms of material now? We are at... I don't know why that one was filling up last, but we're at four stacks of nitrate, which is good. Um, we are at almost three stacks of stone, I think. I don't know. Dropped from that, which is not good for you. Here and here and boop. Boop, there we go. Okay. All the nitrate in this little corner to up even higher, which I think I want to get it right now. Oh, no, I fell. Oh, we're getting low on frames. Uh, let's go ahead and make a hundred more frames. Luckily, frames are pretty cheap, so. Not too much work. How are we looking in terms of stuff now? All right, we're almost at six stacks, and I think once we actually do hit six stacks, I might call it for the nitrate, because that's fine. At that point.
gotta be almost there. Yep, we're done. Okay. <clears throat> Work. Okay. Perfect. We mined a lot today. Oh boy. But I think before we actually go, you have a lot of lead we can continue doing and a lot of iron too. Stacks of lead built up. Might as well focus on the lead, right? I wanted to make sure I wasn't mining under any supports because we're getting to the point where it's kind of hard to tell. might actually be below the pillar. Is it? Uh, it is. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Oh, look at the auger needs to be repaired anyway, so do that. Here we go. At least having that there will help me be like, oh, there's wood there. Okay. I did not mind that call. Free fuel. I guess once we're out of fuel, we'll head back. Well, the one thing that, that irritates me a lot, I really want to get rid of it, but if I do, I know the whole thing will come down. And that's what hurts, man. Screamer scared the hell out of me. I don't know why she scared me that badly to make my like heart just skip, but like, fuck me, dude. Lady, can you just not? No. Oh man, she scared the hell out of me. I guess because it sounded so loud and next to me. Another screamer, huh? You done? Okay, she's done. Crap, reload, come on. Oh, 
Oh my fucking god. Did I shoot him or did he just fall over on his own? I just shot my fucking car. Yep. Looks like we're clear. Go ahead and loot the uh, bags. What jerks, man? Almost forgot about this bag here. Go ahead and use the sham. Why don't I just get one tin can? That's why. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use this, and then and drop these steel tool parts in the ground. There go. Okay. I think we are in business. I'm gonna put this like six gas back into here. <laughs> okay. Back down, we'll use the rest of this fuel up and then go from there. Lead for days, so that's good. I hear another zombie, but I want to get the stuff done first. I don't want to come back down here. For Maybe a lot of zombies up there, I feel, when I come back up next. Fine, use my fuel faster, Roger. Let's go. Oop. 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 Okay. Oh. All right. Another screamer right here. We'll take out her. Oh, nice back. everyone. I don't see any more anywhere. I thought the, uh, the nurse over there was a drop bag. Check the uh, tunnels there. Okay. Yeah. That's everyone. Right. Let's see. What was this? This was 
I'm just gonna eat this food and drop this stuff. Nope. That was very productive, I feel. It's been like a whole day doing it, by the way, so that makes sense. Okay. That, um, let's get... I'm gonna make a hundred arrowheads. Just so I have some extra ones. Because I'm running a little low, as you can see. And then... That was my... Forged iron is really good. We'll just make more forged steel. Next up, let's go ahead and put all of my stone that I can into here. There we go. Beautiful. And then we'll go ahead and make concrete here. And then in this furnace, we can put in the brass and the lead there. I can also do that and that. Perfect. All right. Let's take that and this stuff here. How much cement can I make? 590. So that'd be 250 plus 45 would be 295. If I did that math correctly. Hey. God, I'm a genius. <laughs> Not really. But no, give it to me. That was pretty good. Okay. Let's go ahead and just store everything that we can here. I'm gonna throw these freaking oak tree things away. Things. Okay. We got some spare bullets. All our nitrate powder here, which we'll go ahead and start making as much gunpowder as we can. Apparently 2,000, so pretty good. 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, and... So, we started out with six stacks, oops, six stacks of nitrate. One, two, three, four, five still. Five and a half, to be honest. What we have left after using the coal, which makes sense, to be honest. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and throw the stuff to sell. There we go. Get so many guns. All right. And let's just grab the rest of these brass casings. What do I have to do? A thousand. Okay, so we all, we're fine there. And those are done, so we grab them and we'll grab plastic. And steel arrowheads. Oop, there we go. We'll be needing plastic here soon. What can I use oil for once again? Check this out. Uh, nothing too necessary. I think I was using it for blade traps previously, which is why I was saving a bunch of it. But now it doesn't matter, so. I really want that silence in me. Okay. Um. What was it I can make out of duct tape and this? Repair kit. Right. Go ahead and make all the repair kits we can. And then duct tape is made from glue and cloth. We have a lot of glue and cloth. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and make all we can there. Just like a plenty of cloth to spare. What else can be made with cloth? Bandages, bandana, a bunch of this stuff. First aid bandage, which is that which I need to make. Um, Maltov. Anything useful? A morale booster. Memory generation is increased by 10% when the drone is nearby. Huh, interesting. I'm gonna make sandbags. <laughs> I'm not going to. 
Yeah, I don't really have anything I can make with the uh, cloth right now. What about sewing kits? Can I make anything with those? That'd be useful. Um, I guess. That. How many blood bags do I got? Plenty, okay. Look at those, give me the beers, and then I need sewing kits, I think, right? And then, um, first I need, to, I need bandages. Do I have normal bandages here? No. Bandages are just cloth. Oh, that's perfect. Where's some of the cloth then? So, if I wanted to make a first aid kit, my bottleneck is going to be beer, of course. So I can make 14, which means I need to make 14 bandages. 14. Just for good measure, hit 4 again to turn that off. First aid kit, so I can go ahead and place some forge after we're done here. Well, really it takes six seconds to make 14 of them, huh? Crazy. Okay. Get those to finish. Check this stuff. My iron's gonna run out next. Iron's one of those things that I want to keep going, like, all the time, you know? Go ahead and store my building materials here. Or those there. Oh yeah. Getting all that nice, nice duct tape. Perfect. Okay. Well, whilst we are making these, let's go out and grab some more gasoline. Oh, I only had shotgun shells there, huh? Jump over and down. I still have my gasoline all over here. So, grab a nice stack, refuel, and then I'll get more. All right, let's make sure we refuel the chainsaw as well. Yep. Take all of that, take that, put that back. Doing okay on gasoline. We have two, three stacks, and then three stacks here as well. So, that's pretty good. Let's go across the street and check out how our grove of trees is looking. We might have time to cut these babies down. Nope, not yet. They're about halfway there. This is like the damage of these over there. I'm not sure if they grow after you damage them. We're not going to run out of duct tape for any time soon, that's for sure. Good, that's good. Actually, don't I have spare repair kits somewhere? Why not? Maybe out in the truck. I thought I had a bunch still. But apparently, I'm just going through them a lot, so. I can make 144 repair kits. I don't need that many. Let's make 50. It's gonna take nine minutes. Okay, not bad. Although, instead of making them here, make them here. There we go. Put and store the forged iron. Okay. Okay, it's done. Let's go ahead and store that back there. Bandages are done. Let's go ahead and make first aid kits next. Cancel the gunpowder. Store the gunpowder again. It's gonna take less than a minute. Okay, perfect. I also have some shotgun shells to pack. Go ahead and put this stuff away. Actually, I might as well make, like, more bandages, right? Um, I have, like, 20 bandages. I can just throw them in there. Okay. What can I do with feathers? Anything of interest? Not really. I can just get rid of the feathers, to be honest. There is absolutely no reason to continue holding on to them.
Oh, the posse's on the ground. Uh, let's go ahead and throw these here. Throw those in here. Not the gunpowder, though. Short. Perfect. Oh, I have a nice stock of bandages already prepared uh, for that. Um... Go. All those are done. Perfect. I just I don't need beer. That's all I need. Into this aloe. Put it up here. Okay. Um. Pine cones. Let's go. Let's sort this. Aluminum yeah, factory definitely the casings. Right, I was going to look up. Seven days to die. Can you destroy dropped loot bag? Drop loot bags be destroyed. Loot bags are not to be fucked with. Get them and get out. But can they be destroyed? Yeah, sometimes they go missing as well. I don't know how many hit points they have, but probably less than 100. When they missing so often, turn off, drop on death. Wait, no, not those loot bags. Zombie loot bag should be invincible. See, this was in 2009. Just got done fighting Seven Day Horde, and during the course of the fight, there must have been, must have seen five or six loot bags drop. Unfortunately, I was not able to loot them all because of the wrong onslaught. By the time the Horde was defeated, only one bag was remaining. I don't know if the bags were on a despawn timer, or if they got destroyed in the battle, but there's nothing more censored word losing those bags. They are the only reason I bother to fight the horde. They should be indestructible and should not disappear whatsoever in the course of the Blood Moon. Uh, you want to loot that, you need to take the risk. You should set up traps to kill zombies. Do this. Hmm. Hmm. It sounds like they can be destroyed, which is unfortunate. But understandable. I mean, if they were invincible, it would. It'd be very cheesy. You could just, like, somehow get a bunch to be in an area, right? And then just take those and somehow have them be a defense against the zombies. Would be interesting, to be honest. Here. Yeah, let's just make more bullet tips, I guess. Okay. It's almost night again. So, question now. Do we go back into the mine or do something else? Uh, we could do the quest, but at this point, questing is not very helpful to us, you know? I don't even know why I still have this bucket. Can you do anything with a bucket? No. Not really. Also got these junk turrets that, or these robotic turrets I should say, that don't really do much for me. Um, what modifications do I have on it? A barrel and a bunker buster, which what does the bunker buster do? Would have more damage against iron, huh? It'd be nice if I could upgrade this tool to get it to be like. At least a five, so I could put one more mod on it. That way I could put the dirt one or the iron one on it. Okay. In fact, speaking of which... How's this looking? Yeah, we're now out of iron, so that is not good. Okay, let's go mine iron, and let's actually take the iron breaker mod. And... Bunker Buster does more damage against stone, but I don't really have too much stone to deal with, so we'll swap that out. Like this. Put a repair thing here. Alright, we have plenty of um ore or iron ore down there too, so we'll focus on iron ore this time around. Because our lead, we have plenty of lead. We're not gonna run into issues with lead for a while, huh? Okay. Let's park a little. You know, right over here, because I think the iron's on that side, so if the cave 
does happen to collapse, our truck won't be engulfed. Well, actually, our truck, our truck shouldn't get engulfed anyway because of how the location currently stands. Everything being kind of to the left. Although, maybe I'm underestimating the amount that we have harvested from this mine already. <laughs> yeah. Oopsie. 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 Anyway, um... I'm gonna go ahead and turn these into stairs real quick. Okay. Seriously, if this pillar goes, everything around it is just... And that is the truth. Okay. Now, let's play this boy here. Hey, Vapor Skull, thanks for the follow. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Lady, where you at? Bonk. Make sure the area is secure still. Could have been another one, or there could be people in the holes. Oh, I was right. There is another one right there. Oh. Got him. All right. Now we should be secure. We look. Good. Let's go. Back to the mine. Down one more stair there, then right there, and we'll do a normal block there. Come on. Ooh. All right, we got a nice staircase under here. Fuel. Uh. Nice bubble up again. All right, let's put our points set into minor sixty nine or here. We need five to get to the next one. Buy that. Perfect. 
In fact, we can get Miner 69er and, well, probably Motherload first since it'll give us more resources. Another screamer. Or I heard one. Oh, I do. Hey, stop it. We had some time, so might be God, fog sucks. I think we're okay. I don't think she summoned any zombies. Then again, it's really hard to tell with all the fog in the way. Decided now, so we can do this. All it takes just one careless, like, second looking at that, and it would just bring this whole area down. So scary. Zombies. All stone now. Just a bit. Yep. Good. Just a bit of you. We don't want to mess with that since that's further expanse than what we currently are at. And that might cause this place to fall. <laughs> oh boy. That wall just went through. Okay. Lovely. Get back to the 
back to the stairs here. Perfect. Okay. Oh, stacks of iron. Nice. Screamer, let's go. Le bonk. A couple of dogs over there. Might as well take them out. Any other zombies? Let's see. All right, well, let's go harvest these dogs. Why not? Free meat, you know? That one should be here. Boy, and then the last one is somewhere around here. Dang, grass gets in the way. Come on, Dago. Give me your flesh. There we go. Easy peasy. Never hurts to commit a little deforestation. All right, and let's drop the feathers and seeds that I picked up here. Okay, do some inventory maintenance real quick, like. Okay, so let's sort this stuff here. There we go. That should do it. Let's actually do that there. Okay, perfect. Now that we're going to fill up all these with that stuff, but nice. Pair that a bit, and let's go back down to the mine. More. Yeah, all right, so we left off right around there, yeah?
It would be nice to find another full deposit down here. That would come handy. Is there another zombie out here? No? Good? Okay. No, okay. Go. All right. I think this is getting really precarious. Oof. Okay. Now the next level. That's everything that we want to do there. All right. Now it's all down to this next level. Real quick, let's go just while we're here and we have to repair the auger anyway. Let's do a double check upstairs. Ah, I did hear one. I wonder how long she's been here. Oh, hey, ladies. Little shits. Anyone else around? Maybe over there? Something weird there. Fine. Oh, we got a chicken. He gets to live. I want to deal with it. Okay. Also, this tree, it, it's been in my way for so long. I'm getting rid of it. A better sight around this area. Nope. Take that egg. Have I got any silver yet? I have. This stuff down here. Toss that on the ground. Excellent. Let's go. Back down to the mine again. All right. I think this was the furthest down where there's nothing left. For or at least in that little pocket. If I left that like that.
good. Circle around here quick. down here. Go. Excellent. Let's refuel. I think I just barely hear a zombie. I think I've gotten too far down where it's, it's starting to get really quiet. Don't attack my car. Anybody? We were away from the vehicle, please. How you doing? All right. Are we good now? Did they destroy? Oh my god, they destroyed one of the blocks. How dare they? I gotta repair it now. These jerks. There you go. All right. Double check. There's no one else up around here. See you there, wolf. Barely, though. Any more? Hey, Aegon. How's it going? Thanks for the sub. Oh, for the, the six months in advance sub for September. Nice. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Here once again. How are we doing on metal? Oh my god. I didn't realize we had that many stacks of iron so far. 
The skeleton homie discord? I don't know. I don't join many discords. I'm quite picky about doing so. While I'm here, I might as well get the meat from this guy. Maybe we'll go home real quick, drop off some iron, we'll start melting it down. Come back to mine some more. Close the door. There we go. Hello, furnaces. How are you doing? Go ahead and pop that off. Pop that off. Max out the cement there. How's this looking? Yeah, okay, we need to pop these off a little bit. That's it. Steel. Take away this clay. Let's just put a whole stack there. There we go. More iron. Let's go. How's my? I probably grab some. Okay. All done. Excellent. What's that in there? I actually have the material to do it. How much can I make? I can make 1,000, and that's because we bought like sand. We just grab some more sand from here. All right. Perfect. So that'd be 1,344. I think would be about half. Yeah, roughly. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's put the clay here. Bit. All right, and I might as well store other and bones and fat and stuff like that in here. Real quick, like. Oh, all right. Now how does this look again? Pop this off. Dang, how much is it gonna take here? Uh, what does the end game look like? Um, I guess we're kind of at the end game, more or less, right now. Uh, basically, the end game of this, you just end up uh, continuing to survive horde nights that get ever stronger. Uh, zombies get tankier, more rare ones spawn. And you just keep building up your base, pretty much. That's really all there is to it. I don't have the best gear yet, because I still have, like, the, the green and blue weapons here. But the purple is what you want. Uh, look at my armor here. Definitely to get better of legs and boots and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm pretty well geared. I mean, we don't have too much of an issue when we're dealing with the Horde Knights. But, uh, yeah. Normally it's every seven days you have a uh, zombie horde coming at you. But I have decreased it from seven to six, and now it's down to five. So every five days we get a horde of zombies to come after us. That's what's happening currently. So, that's where we're at now. So basically, you can continue to increase the difficulty as you want by increasing the uh, duration that you have to build up your base and repair from a Horde Knight, all the way down to every night's a Horde Knight. So. Plenty of time. Yeah. But yeah, really, once you get like this auger that I have now and the chainsaw, and you're able to get like an automatic weapon or at least a, a good rifle, shotgun, pistol, whatever you have. 
It's basically the uh, the end game. And yeah, you can basically survive indefinitely for the most part. You can respawn if, respawn if you do die, so it's not like you have one life unless you choose to play like that. You can just keep going and going. Um, I don't think the days ever end. I've seen one guy who manually set the day to day 7,000 and survived like that, so... There was a lot of zombies there. He also had like a uh, an AFK base where he could just AFK while the zombie horde was going on and he would survive it because all the zombies would jump off cliffs and die. Nice. For me, I still want to get experience because I'm only level like 80, I think. Uh, 86 to be exact. And your health and stamina down here can increase to 200 max, I believe it is, after you get to level 100. But then there's all these skill points that you can also increase. So I guess the, the end game, end game would be leveling up all your stats um, to max so you can do everything like uh, heavy armor allows you to wear heavy armor better make better heavy armor boomstick you can craft better shotguns do more damage with shotguns that kind of stuff so plenty to do and if you're solo you have plenty of time to do it whereas if you were uh, working with like a other person you got your own server uh, you get experience as you can see i'm getting some of the you can't really see it here because I'm in the way, but uh, in the bottom right, as you do things, you uh, will see experience pop up. Mining, I get experience. If I kill zombies, I get experience. If I craft things, I get experience. If I like, build, I like those fortifications. Like if I place down a block and then make it wood, uh, I get experience. Kind of just depends upon how much you get. So if I do like this, that was 94 experience, just tapping that once. Uh, but if I do like this, and I go for a while, I've already gained a thousand experience in that short amount of time. Uh, each zombie, and a normal zombie, is like around 600 experience. Special zombies can be more, so... And it depends there. I think the most I've got it from a zombie is like 3,000 experience. What I'm working for right now is two things. During this kind of operation where I'm just mining stuff, I'm working on getting these leveled up to uh, do more damage against blocks, like what I'm doing now, and also to get more loot from blocks, like stones and uh, ores and stuff like that. We need to level up strength in order to level up these that are uh, subsidiary of strength. And during Horde Nights, I'm going to work on getting my Fortitude stack leveled up so that way I can unlock the machine gun perk to do more damage with machine guns, which is what I've been using to fight off the horde. All that good stuff. Yeah. That's the plan right now, anyway. We'll see if there becomes something else I need to do and change what I'm focusing on. But for now, that's the focus. Yeah, I guess I've mostly maxed out my equipment. Um, like I said, I still have this auger, uh, the steel club, chainsaw, uh, and this bow that I have back here that aren't maxed out yet, because six is the max. The purple bar that you see below some of these is maxed out, and also my uh, armor. I'm missing three pieces that need to be purple still. But other than that, yeah, I'm basically just uh, grinding out stats. Raising the stats will help me to get better gear, because once you increase your stats, you can craft better ones. So if I get a uh, higher tier tool crafting, I can make a uh, better chainsaw and better auger. However, the way to get like the tier 6 gear is to actually stop it. 
The way to get tier six gear is to um, find it. So you have to like go to places to loot them. All of that. That's why it's not just you know, sticking around the base, fortifying stuff. It's going out to towns and stuff like that, which you can kind of see a town in the distance over there. You can loot that, and there'll be more zombies around the town. And you can also take quests from the, uh, there's like a trader. It's kind of like a safe space, but you can't be in the trader at night. Because if you were in a safe space that couldn't be destroyed at night, that kind of beats the purpose of the horde, right? So, basically can uh, trade with the trader, get quests from him. And yeah, the, the loot resets after a specific amount of time. I have it set to every three days. I think the default is five days, but you can kind of adjust it when you're making a server and stuff like that. Honestly, this uh, this game, Seven Days to Die, one of the best, if not the best, zombie survival games you can find right now. And it's all just stone now, so let's just... Is the world randomly generated? Uh, this one is currently randomly generated. However, there are, I think there's two different maps that are not randomly generated. So you can choose to either have a randomly generated map or you put in a seed and you get randomness, which is mine right now. Or you can choose a default map that has like better specific dungeon kind of stuff out there. And by dungeon, I basically just mean there's like houses and skyscrapers that have like a specific path you go through. And that's what I mean by dungeon. All the iron ore that we can get down here without digging further into the sides or tearing down the pillars, which I do not want to do. So this area is tapped out. Oh, here's another zombie lady. Stop it! God dang. Getting that far down is really making it harder to hear the screamers. Uh, Oh yeah, there's like a bunch of settings you can change in uh, the settings. You can like make zombies like all all sprint during the day. Like even if they're just a normal zombie, they they always sprint during the day, whereas normally they walk. Uh, stuff like that. There's nothing to really stop you from changing the uh, the settings. Uh, just how difficult you want it to be, really. That there, grab those, those. Okay, how's this looking? Also looking good. More forged steel, please, thank you. Okay, good. So much iron now. Perfect. Okay. 
that. 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 Oop. Sand there. Store that there. And then let's take this and modify this. Remove the iron breaker and put the stone back in. Okay. That there. Perfect. All right. How much wood do these have in them? Are they good for a while? We got like 300,000 minutes. Eight minutes. Turn that one off because that's out of gunpowder now. All right. So was this my coal mine? That was my coal mine over there. Right. It actually caved in, if I remember correctly. Uh, anyway. All right. We've done a lot of digging. We have a lot of resources just on hold now. What we can do next... Zoom out here. Cole's treasure map. Let's go do that one real quick. That's pretty close by. Pick up some buried treasure and then do a quest or something. A little something different than mining. I don't mind the grind too much. I'm already on, like, uh, I think I'm at 150% experience increase instead of just a normal 100. I think you can increase it even further, like 200 max, I think. Uh, I just choose not to. I'm going to give myself a little bit, but still make it kind of hard to survive and all that. I didn't want it to be too easy, but also not too hard. So I kind of found a happy middle balance. Ah, come on. the mod, gotta refuel. Okay. Right now we're looking for buried treasure. We got a treasure map, so there's something around here we can try to find. And as we dig, this uh, yellow circle will get closer to where the uh, treasure's at to help us pinpoint it. Or we could get lucky and find it before the thing, like, locks on all the way. Kind of have to see. Over this direction. Hold on, we got zombies. It's always like... Away from where I first start mining. There it is. Okay. There's the buried treasure. Let's make sure it's secure. We have to pick the lock for it. Bird. Get them, bird. Alright. Go ahead and unlock this treasure cache. Come on, one lockpick. Oh, you son of a bitch. Bragging. Go. All right, what we get? A bunch of ammunition. Perfect. Works for me. All right. Zombies up around us right now. Nope. Fine. Let's go ahead and toss that away. Okay. So, I remember correctly, there's another one up there called Steven's Treasure. Let's go grab that while we're at it. Oh, you're fine. I don't mind answering questions. 
have plenty of time to do so while I'm digging and stuff, so as long as I'm not in the middle of like uh, fighting a bunch of zombies, I'll try to respond. Trying to stay alive during some zombies. Gotta go where my attention's focused at. Sure, what's up? reason I stream is to kill time, basically. figure if I'm going to be playing it anyway, I might as well stream it to, you know, give other people a chance to come in and enjoy it as well. Kill him? I did not kill him. Got him that time. Any birds in the sky? Yep, there's one. Actually, stop moving around. Come on. Got him. One more somewhere. Where to go? There it is. Got him. All right. That guy over there. Let's take him out. Anything else moving on the horizon? Oh, there's a lady right there. Take her down. All right, she's good. All right, hey, we're clear. Let's dig this treasure up. Just once, I would like to be able to find the treasure like right away. The reason I wanted to become a VTuber, I mean, I just like VTubers, so I figured why not. I like that there's uh, something on the screen here, kind of entertaining, you know, not just the game and stuff like that. Make sure there's no one around. I'm gonna try to bite my knees while we take it. Yep. Unlock this bad boy. Also, having a VTuber is a nice way to like make a character for no particular reason at all. Come on. So. I wanted an excuse to make this character, honestly. So being a VTuber was just a little extra bonus there. Alright. What did we get? Anything decent? Not really. Right, let's go ahead and toss all of our items into here. Alright. I think we should probably set our objective there. Yeah, we're way far away from that. Go. This is just a clear the area quest, so all we have to do is kill every single enemy inside this quest that's two kilometers away. I think it's a skyscraper too, so it's gonna be a huge one. I don't know. I wouldn't be opposed to it, but 
I'm not gonna go out of my way to do it. If it happens, it happens, essentially, how it says. Because I'm not that big quite yet, you know. No point in investing any extra time into things when uh, it might not ever happen, you know? Just kind of chill about it all. What is this? Is this heck? I've never seen this structure before. Some sort of mine? I'm gonna mark this on the map. Or that later at some point. Now, with the zombie horde looming a day two in the head, head to this objective first, almost. Back into a forest? Dang. I don't think I've ever been this far to the west yet. Have I? No, this is the furthest I've gone, except for right now. I guess we've been here before. <laughs> I just completely forgot about it then. Long ways away. Sounds good. Thanks for the invitation, man. You have a good rest of your day. Go over the line. Who's up? Yep. That goes. Oh man, is that the skyscraper we're looting? Oh no. God, that's huge. Come on, don't get me stuck right now. Come on. Oh, man. All right. Go ahead and just park on out front here. Dead. I think she's dead. Uh, yep. All right. Okay. All right. Real quick, before we uh, loot this place, Higashi, huh? I'm going to go to the bathroom because this is probably going to take a while and I have to go to the bathroom. So, uh,
All right, and I'm back. The drink as well. Oh, man. It is 9 a.m., day 64. The Horde Night, I believe, since we're on five days now, should be on the 66th night. <laughs> Meaning, we have two days to clear this building. Can we do it? God, I hope so. But first, I'm going to go ahead and eat and drink some food that we have here. Because I am a little bit parched and hungry. <laughs> I'd rather not go into this building. Uh, not all right. Do one more. Cap off the rest of our ammunition as well. All that good. Okay. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna refuel. Then let's begin. All right. Tier five. Start. Class around here. Okay. The zombies could be at this point just hiding anywhere. Speaking of anywhere, I believe that they are coming to me now, so let's back up. Let them come to us. Okay, it's one down. Two over there. Okay, they're both dead. There is one dot over here, but I think. Oh, oh she's right here. Really? Alright, you're down. Can't get into there. Fine. Hey, it's a dog. Dog is dead. All right. Where'd you come from, sir? A couple more there. While they're making their way over to me, let's loot that desk. Meet them. There you go. Handle. Anyone in the bathroom? Doesn't look like it. Bathroom's clear. Let's go ahead and drop that rancid meat glass that I have. Don't need any of that. Come here, dog. Crap. Got it. Nice. Didn't have these bullets. Works for me. Okay. What do we got in here? Anything? We got a bookcase. This is our first time looting with our maxed out lucky looter. So hopefully we find some good stuff in here, huh? I looked at the first floor. Good. So let's go to the second floor. Oh, we woke some people up. I'm not too happy about it. Handle. All right. I would like to do this as quickly as possible, just so that we don't have a whole lot of issue with night coming around. Because the more we can kill now, the less we have to kill during the night. So. It would really work out for us if we could kill them all today. The last time we went to a skyscraper, it took us quite a long time to clear it. It was very, very bad. Try to do things faster this time around. That was a nice hit. So I can get off the stool before I hit him. Okay. Ooh, we got a beer. Hell yeah. Use that to make more med kits. We don't really need too many of, but it's good to have them nonetheless. Lady, don't jump over there. Why are you doing that? Here we go. Oi! Wake up! Go, oh, you're dead. Nothing there, nothing there. All right. We're going upstairs next. Let me just check the 
downstairs here quick. Medical supplies, trash pile, okay. That. Okay, up to the third floor. I'm able to tell how many floors they have here. Not very easily, okay. Oh, oh. he was coming at me. They're all coming at me, okay. Alright, I think I got him. Take a moment to push myself. Oh, let's go. Back up and use some arrows. I don't think he died. Nope, he did not die. Alright, we got a couple of boys coming. Right, she's dead. He's down. And they're all dead. Okay, perfect. Let's see, good to see. Go ahead and use this aloe vera. Heal myself here. Okay. Go ahead and hit this dog. Man, that was a nice hit. God damn. All right, I think that's all of them. Excellent. I'm not going to worry about potentially hidden loot behind pictures. That'll just slow me down. Seeds. This desk already did, never mind. Okay. Oh, there was food over here. Missed this completely. Go ahead and eat that now to get some food. There he is, surprisingly. Open. Okay. I wasn't expecting to see no one here, but that's fine. Okay, let's throw away the bone and the rotten flesh there. Got any zombies in this room? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Works for me. Another auger schematic. I'll we'll take and learn that real quick like. Go ahead and scrap that and that and that. Yep. Because this room was suspicious. Okay. Go ahead and scrap that with the glass that I have there. Come to me, zombies! Come! Okay. One slow zombie is blocking this fast zombie. Kind of annoying me. Go. Yeah, I see another fast guy back there. Gotta be aware of that. He just tripped, though. Another fast boy's coming, though. Take him out. Dagger them. Knock him down. I think he's still alive. Nope, he's dead. Excellent. Put army zombies in here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, moving on. Already searched all this, yeah? Okay. Making sure. That area's fine. That is open. I don't see any feet behind there. 
think they already all ran through here already. Yeah. Where's that? What? How are you there, sir? Bizarre. I don't know how he wound up on that side, even though I cleared that area. Whatever. Right, what do I need to make a splint? I need duct tape. Okay. Let's make a duct tape. Now I can make a splint if I get injured. And that's an if. Get injured? Hopefully the plan is to not get injured. Oh, we don't have any zombies here. Well, let's smash that. Okay. Nothing there. Gotcha. Alright, so it looks like the next path is out here. We want to go around this, over to this ladder, I guess? Also, ooh, there's actually a crate down there. Oof, okay. What if we just go down? Up off of this. I'll destroy this part of the ladder that's bent. We'll just go down here. This munitions crate. Grab that, take that. Oh, hey, bud. Come out of nowhere. Behind the bookshelf, huh? I would have picked that. I don't need to worry about that zombie, so I'm not going to deal with him right now. Um, where can I place one of these at? Right here? Over there, and then if I put another one there, can I jump on the ladder? I can. I can just take those back, what I would have said if I could have. I'll destroy that. I jump up here now? Oop. Almost. Almost, okay. Do that. Can I jump on here now? Yeah, <laughs> boy. Alright. Now it looks like I just go around here. This area. Hello. I'm here to test the situation. Definitely got a feral in there, so that's not great. Very unideal. Do him later. Where's that airdrop at? Yeah, it's all the way to the south there. Haven't been in that area before, so that's not great. Okay, looks like we're going through there. Um, but before we do, put through some stuff. And what do we got? Okay, so definitely a zombie in that tube, like there was in this one over here. Okay. Get purse up there. Grab that real quick. There's money. Okay. Down the ground, sir. He's dead. Perfect. Used up a lot of my stamina doing that, though. Eat these blueberries real quick. Throw these bandages away. Scrap that. And one more. And I'm going to also eat just a piece of this meat real quick. Heal a little bit more. That stuff. All that looks secure. That. Here's someone over here growling and puffing and puffing about. We can scrap these radiators. Drink this bottle of water. 
Okay. Oh, hey there, everyone. Oh, let's pick this guy out. This guy. I got them all. Perfect. Looks like I can't get in here very easily. Is there a way? There's a broken window there. So it looks like I can get out. No, no, I cannot get out that way. Um, is there a window over here that was broken? Hmm. Not really, huh? Back up the stairs, okay. Go ahead and take this out then. And reinforce glass. That's where we get through. Okay. Handled. Generator schematic. We got anything too good. What's this weapon bag got? Ooh, a junkie crossbow. Okay. Yay. What are the shale, the glass shards, the oil? And the rest of it for now. Okay. Moving on, we have a popping pills crate here. What good stuff will we find in this box? Not a whole lot, to be honest. I'll use that aloe vera, though. We have the blood bag, and let's also use the... I really don't like hearing these zombies hissing and stuff. They're kind of annoying, to be honest. Oh, there's a zombie in there. There's a zombie over in this one as well. Oi! Yep, that's right. Come on. Come to Papa. Reload. All right, there's an on. Where you guys come from? We're on like the third floor. Where did you guys come from? Damage mitigation. Mm -hmm. Could use that at some point. Mm. Scrap, scrap, toss. There's no way. What do they expect me to do? Like. Actually, expect me to like do this? I guess that's what they have to expect me to do, huh? Play all these few frames with you. Sure, okay. Some quick inventory maintenance here. Yeah. Handled. 
It's really bright in these rooms, man. Oh, oh that's a shotgun choke. I thought it was a silencer for a second. I was so excited. That's what I've been looking for this whole time. So I can go out with my pistol and just like destroy people. But um, it is not. Mm. There is a dot over there. I don't know if that's because there's a person who fell down or what. But if they're above. That would make sense if they were above as well. Okay. I only have a couple more hours before night falls. Okay. Very secure at least. Definitely gonna be someone in that tank who's gonna burst through those doors there. Probably all of them. Let me just... Everyone awake? But I thought, knew it. Crap, this is Okay, reload. Excellent. Have anything in there? No. Nothing up. Oh, I see something back there, but it's just garbage, so I'm digging that out right now. Precog, range damage increase. By the way, I'm going to use this bandage, even though I don't really need to right now. I did get experience for it, though, so that helps. Okay. I guess since we're clearing things, let's go ahead and increase our fortitude. Anything here? Take that, that, toss that away. Hmm. This is not sketchy at all. Yeah, I know you're in here. Funny little shit. I'm not gonna know you're in a very obvious hidey hole there. Duffel bag under the floor there, but is it worth getting? Oh, hey there. I almost missed you, sir. Okay, you're dead. Get over it. the day. Headshot. <laughs> Excuse me. Back on that, are they, huh? Got him. What do you got in the loot bag, sir? Huh? Hmm. Let's go ahead and scrap the money. Get rid of the Duke tokens. Take that first aid. Munitions, huh? Go ahead and scrap that mod. I took back there. I don't want to do it. Yep. Fucking bag back there, huh? Your parts? Yeah, I don't care. I saw someone running. Wait. Where I just came from? What the hell? Sir, what are you doing?
Handle. Oop, can't jump there. Can jump here though. <laughs> Him down. Doggo, let's take that out. Yep. Hmm. And then there, huh? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap that iron, I think. I'm just gonna get rid of right now. Grab the short metal pipes. That'll work. Yep. Don't know why so many men were in the same bathroom, but okay. Not this way. So have to go in here, obviously next. First back here, let's go ahead and grab that. Okay. Can I do anything with gold? No, it's literally just a cell. I might as well get rid of that if I have to. No point in holding on to it at this particular time. Tell if that red dot is someone down below me or like above me. And it's throwing me off. What if it'd be above me instead of down below, huh? There. DNA testing. Oh, that's lovely. Crap. I didn't think he was going to jerk that much. Yep. Night is very rapidly approaching. Let's make sure we much as we can before that happens. Little more munitions, huh? Shotgun choke mod, which we don't even have a shotgun right now, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. We do have a shotgun, but it's at home. Zombies hmm. could fall through the ceiling there. It's all of them there. Keep moving. I'm in jail, man. I'm take my stuff. This leads out to here, which I don't do it right now. Oop. Okay. We're backing up. Quick while they're down. Yep, I think they're handled. Correct you, bastards. All right, now check to see if anything else is in here. Hope we're good. Pig. Ass is quite. Helpful to have. Ah, the damn pigs! Why did they decide to break out now? Should I throw something away to get them? Sure, why not? Get rid of that and that. That. 
Knife time! I think I'm just dropping the fat. I might pick up the fat and uh, drop the bones, to be honest. Don't need bones. Bones are for the weak! We are wiggly. We are straight. We ain't got no bones. Okay. Let me keep going. Can I shoot through these? I can. Dang. I can. Excuse me, gotta reload. Go. Right, I might as well try to use as much of this as we can. Gun, that is. Because uh, I do have more than one stack of ammunition for it right now. It is not ideal. We're trying to go around and uh, loot everything we can, you know. One zombie is still... What's in the duffel bag? One out here, huh? Who puts meat in the duffel bag? Weird. There. Hear any feet here? Nope. Okay. Anyone in there that I can hit? There, for that matter. Perfect. That's a little lobby out here, though. I'm gonna really just jump off. Are you kidding me here? You now I have two assholes who are probably missing down there. Unless that one died. If he died, I'm happy about that, but. Jesus Christ. We're almost at the top, I think. Oh, cool. Yeah. What are you doing there, sir? Yep. Okay. quick. This area is clear. This is just the morgue. Okay. Ugh. Squelching of my feet as I shove across that. Hey, big guy. Got him. Do I have any bandages real quick? I have this. I'm gonna go ahead and just use that and toss this stone away. Trash can there. Ooh, hoo, hoo, baby, that's brass. Means I'm gonna break it open. I'm gonna shit. And there was nothing of value inside. Cool. Oh, I'm 
infected, I'm suffering an abrasion, and all this other shit. Huh? Little bastard. Enough of the jumping, man. Another bandage, I can fix the abrasion. Can't fix the infection right now, though. Ah. Maybe I'll find some uh, antibiotics or something. Oh, there we go. This should fix the abrasion. Take these bandages and put them there. Oh, there's just a chemistry workbench out there? Oh, I don't have anything good. I'm not going to waste my time. Another worthless bandage? Yeah. Come on, in a box. Honey, that works too. Gladly take that. Okay. Station. Anthemum. Garbage, huh? Here. Go. Oh, we're almost done. We just gotta go a little bit further. A little bit of medical supply right there. Come on. We can use that. All right. This is the roof. Well, I'd say we were done, but now nighttime. So we, we just finished almost in time to not have nighttime. People almost like this. Well, I don't think that. There's probably still so many zombies left here. Where are they at? I'm gonna go outside here first. Near this area. Hmm. Where's the zombies at? There has to be more. I guess the like, little edge of the uh, bench there was, huh? Is that it? I think all the zombies are up further. Yeah, they're definitely up here, huh? Okay, yeah, dogs are dead. He's not, though. I don't know where he came from, but that's not cool. I don't see any rapid movement, so I think we should be fine. Nope, I see movement. Got it. Surprised it didn't. Wake everyone up. Oh my god. Um. Okay, we survived that somehow. I got that guy first. Um, is that a dog that I killed? I cannot tell. Oh my god. I think everyone else is feral, aren't they? Oh my god. Maybe that lumberjack's not? Nope, he is. He's dead, though. Okay, how about this guy? What am I hitting? 
Let's hit her first. Let's hit him next. Okay. Now for him. Okay, got experience for that. Perfect. This guy. What is happening right there? Like, I'm hitting it, but it's not going through. I think that's a bird over there. So let's hit him first. Um, military zombie. Okay, got him. Uh, part of this guy. Okay, surprising that work. Shoot that one the leg. Hitting me. Okay. Ah, because there was a freaking fat guy there, huh? Okay. Let's see how it is. Well, we woke up the zombies. But we did manage to, like, kill most of them up here, so that's great for us. Oh. Sit down, lady. Goddamn. You too, sir. As well as you. Maybe not. I finally decided to jump over, did he? Dead? Good. And now I'm fatigued. Great. Let's run around the outside here, make sure we're all clear on this helipad. Like it? Okay. I think there's some stuff up there. We'll go over there and leave that area. First, let's secure the rest of this floor. Or roof, I guess. Okay. All looks good. I don't have anything in it. Cooler, worthless. Fine. Now this floor. Sure. Take this. Why not? Sink. Yep. All right. So we opened that up. What about back here? Do these have anything in them? Just the elevator and janitor's carts in the way, of course. So, got it. Hey, you're in the way, too. Yep, easy. So, now we can go out on this terrace, in through here, and into this vault. Take all of the goodies. Ooh, look, we have herbal things, which don't help us at all. I thought these were the things that, uh, cured my fatigue, but it's not. <laughs> well, shoot. <coughs> I will take these, though, in place of the claw. Steel spear, fortifying grip. Shamway, huh? Okay. Well, go ahead and use this and take that. Empty weapon bag. Spear hunter, take that, throw that away. What am I trying to? Oh, spear parts. That away. Hardened chest, unlock. We're unlocking now. Okay. Excellent. What we get? Uh, scrap. Learn. 
Uh, shots with legs have a chance to slow your opponents. Sure. Security camera bundle. I just want to scrap that. I don't want to take it. Um, anything here actually valuable? I'm going to use this one med kit, I think, and then I'll scrap that. And um, let's go ahead and scrap these tokens. Charges don't mean jack shiite. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the empty water bottle. Take the pistol rounds. Drop those, drop those, drop. Actually, I'll take those and place some bandages. Um, bunch of my parts get bent. These. Can I open them? No. Of course not. Why would they open inside where I want them to open? Store everything all back up. Okay. So scrap, scrap, scrap. That. Scrap those. So take. Cool. 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 All right. Is there anything else over here? Nope. Put this stuff away. Okay, moving on. Still not able to scrap the next. Okay. Well. Give me up in there. But where's the ladder for this thing? Right there. It is broken. That doesn't mean I can't go up there. There's gonna be a thing up here, but we might as well check. Just to double check. Oh, we got a weather sports bag with a bunch of junk. Who would have guessed? Well, the area is clear then. Not fall all the way off the building. That'd be excellent. Okay. Oh well, that's that's life now. Okay, so we have another zombie down there. I think it's the only other zombie we have, yeah? Where did you come from? Did you come all the way back up here again? After you jumped off the first time, you idiot? Bruh. Okay, how, how high am I? That high, huh? Where's the staircase? Surely there's a staircase around here. Where was it at? I think it's over in the corner. I have to go all the way over. So let's. Oh, the elevator shaft. Let's go out and around. I think. If I remember correctly. So, staircase over here. That we can use to get out of here quickly. All I have to do is drop down. Oh, yep. Alright. Go. Here, over to here, over to here, down, 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 jump, good, um, down, down, and then this should lead me to here, or I can just fall down to here, kill this guy who's being a jerk, get out front and leave. While we're also in the neighborhood, we're gonna go ahead and pick up this airdrop. All right. So we didn't do too bad here, did we? It could have gone a lot worse, definitely. Like, 100% could have gone a lot worse. I think we're okay now. Down here. I haven't really explored too much of this city yet, have I? Nice city. Look at that. I 
Once I get up past this bat, I should be able to take a right here. Should be pretty close to this. Here we are, right at the airdrop. So we're going to take this guy out first before he interferes. I'm going to store the stuff here. Take a vitamin to cure my fatigue. Take this stuff, which is garbage. I have another boiled meat recipe, and I don't really care about farming. Whatever. Now, we can just head on home. And, uh in this quest. By the time we get there, I have a feeling it'll be either close to or the time to turn in the quest. Actually... That's fine. Let's just keep going north, though. I don't want to go through the city. Kind of annoying to do so. the desert where it's decent. Okay. I think I've been on this road before, have I? Go straight. Oh. Direct nerd. Fortnite. Once more. Doing pretty well. We have plenty of materials that are ready for building stuff with, for upgrading stuff, all that good jazz. I have some spare time before the trader opens. We'll just kind of aim for between the trader and home. And if we get a home before the shop opens, we'll turn right that way. Huh? Look at Luke, that shop and Messiah! We'll definitely get home first before we uh, go to the trader. It'll give us time to drop off stuff and get the stuff we want to sell to the trader. At least. Yeah, we might as well just start angling ourselves back home. Out of the way, Hitchhiker. Bam. Two hours to wait until we can go talk to the trader. Uh, I'm not sure. Do I have cement in here? I do. Okay. Nice. Oh, shit. Merch. All right. Go ahead and refuel. We will go ahead and take take my stuff, not put it in there. Seeing things. 
Ay, ay, ay. What a waste of fuel. Okay. Do that. Again, what a waste of fuel. Been on this whole time, not doing anything. How about you? Okay, luckily that's fine. Fuck on shells. 762. Just ammo. Ammo material. Yeah. Other stuff. Got a little bit of charcoal there. Um. Medical, not that. Medical supplies. Parts for things. Food goods. Firing box in there for now. Feel like dealing with it? Yeah. Iron, iron. Lots more iron in here. Turn it on. And let's go ahead and make 500 more forged steel. How about that? Start crafting more cement here as well. That one. That. Max amount of cement is 15, which would be, if you half that, it would be 750, but 775, I guess. I think. Is that about right? Roughly, yeah. Not bad for a little bit of raw relative mental math, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead and store this sub man from here. Looking good. Looking spiffy. Love it. Love to see it. Okay. Let's go grab the rest of our loot out here. It away. Yeah. Not, not, not get in. Darn it. We had a lot of sand. I don't know where we got all that sand. Oh, we got it from digging up treasure. That's right. That's where we got all that sand from. Okay. Back inside of our lovely home. Hearts, hearts. That, that, that. And we have water, shotgun shells, That's two pistol bullets, and magnum bullets. That goes out a bit there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab all this stuff that we're going to go ahead and call the shopkeeper when we're there. So judging by the materials we have right now, I would say sand is our limiting factor currently. Well, that and wood, but we're good on wood for now. All right, what else are we making here? Are we making any more gunpowder? We were not. We also need more coal, so at some point we'll go ahead and do more of that. Six yet? Not yet. Eighty minutes for six thousand rounds. Huh? Oh, I should probably eat some stuff. Let's see, get rid of the canned goods. Sham here. I think it's all the canned stuff that just kind of takes up inventory space for no real good reason. Excellent. Um, also, we have this we can turn on now. Perfect. Perfect. Also, go ahead and get some water and make more normal bottled water. 
We're good. Thank you. Okay. For the hands. Turn that off and turn that off. Right, we can talk to the trader and come back home. I don't know how I'm wet when I have actually okay. I know how I'm wet. Because I have bars and not a roof. That's why I would be wet. Yep, that makes sense. Think about it. Honk, honk, out the way. So if his quests have not refreshed, we're gonna have a quest in the Wasteland City, which is not good. Not at all. And I am not looking forward to that. Let me just go ahead. I'm gonna grab a stack of these, just in case there's some stuff that we can trade with. Well, you're a stat for sore. How's it going, sir? My day. A rocket launcher, huh? Your payment. I mean, I don't really want to use a rocket launcher, given the uh, radius of it all, but I'll take it. What do you got for jobs? Oh, thank God. I have a uh, normal stuff. Not. I'm in a bit of a corn. Wait, hold on. Okay, maybe next time. Safe travel. Okay, so making sure it's not southwest. Can you help me with my problem? I can't yeah, thank yeah. you enough, friend. Go ahead and trade. And okay, fifty-one silver nuggets is only two thousand. That's not great. Twenty-four gold is thirty-three thousand, thirty-three hundred. Uh, Fourteen diamonds is four thousand. It's honestly funny that just three thousand two hundred and one dollar bills is more than a bunch of silver nuggets. But okay, perfect. I looks like you do have new stuff. I already have maxed out Lucky Looter. Great heist for great heist for. Thank you, sir. Do I know that. I get new merchandise daily. I do not. I will take it. Huh? All right. Well, she got for me, sir. Get some eggs. I'll take those. Always better to find eggs here than. Deal with it elsewhere, you know. I wonder if I can scrap brass. I don't think I can scrap brass faucet, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Might as well just buy cobblestone and cement while I'm just chilling here. Why not buy some polymer too? I mean, why not? Why shouldn't I? You know? You got some acid? I'll take that too. Acid's kinda hard to come by. I'll take more just straight up steel too. That's cool. Um Rocket ammo, huh? Don't really need it for right now. Okay. I'm gonna buy the uh, 762. APM of it. Not that I am going to use it right away, but just so I have, I can sort of massing it. All right, let's head home and sort our stuff. Let's make the stuff. No. But I think we'll wrap things up here, everyone. Once we get home and drop off all this loot that we got, sort through it and all that, and. I think between now and tomorrow, frame, I might do a little bit of offline stuff. Whether that's uh, it, it's just going to be mining um, or placing stuff down, that kind of stuff. It's not going to be like me going around killing zombies, doing stuff. 
crazy amount of, of work done. Some of the tedious stuff, like mining. I'm not going to be mining resources. I think I'm going to keep mining out this area. Oh, crap, no! Well, that's my life now. Great, you love to see it. Man. It's just stuck. I, I can't make it any smoother now. Well, yeah. Come here, truck. We just pick you up. Down here now and take some shit with you. For my medical supplies here that I had before. For my extra water. My extra bullets. My extra gasoline. You know what? I'm just gonna store the entire thing. Okay. Did I? I don't have extra food here, do I? Go ahead and store this here then. There we go. All right. Everything else I do not need to have stored in the truck. So that's fine. Let's just refuel it. I'm going to go grab some more fuel from here. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon wheezy. Joint. Burn. Stab on. Kick those. And let's go just there. Excellent. Okay. So everyone, thank y'all for hanging out and watching along. And like I said, I'm gonna do a little bit of offline stuff here, where I am basically just gonna go and mine some stuff, uh, make some changes to the base that are very subtle and don't do anything against zombie attacks, just to make it look nicer. Uh, essentially, and that'll be all I do. I might, depending upon how fast the trees have grown, I might chop them down to get some more wood or materials. Other than that, I think that'll be all that we do for right now. So, so next time when we come back, I'll kind of show you what I did. Um, we'll stop right before Horde Night so that you guys can get a view of what I changed, and then we can actually do Horde Night. And then I might actually, after next Horde Night, if things go well, I might take Horde Night down a bit uh, to, instead of five days, four days. Uh, so that would be interesting to see. So that's kind of the plan for right now, everyone. So like I said, thank y'all for hanging out and watching along and all that good jazz. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye for now.